Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Randomizer, also known as Zooter. So pretty much what this randomizer is, is every single chest in Ocarina of Time is randomized, along with items such as the hookshot, bow, bomb bag, iron boots, tunics, bottles, big quiver, the rupee wallets, heart pieces, rupee chests, which anywhere from like 5 rupees to the huge rupees, the heart containers you get from bosses, the chests that have a singular heart in them, even the chests that you open up and they freeze you. All of those things in the game are randomized. The next thing that's randomized is all of the gems and medallions in the game, such as the Forest Medallion, Kokiri Emerald, Goron Ruby, Fire Medallion. Then we have the tunic colors that are randomized. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this randomizer. Alright, so we are in our randomizer of Ocarina of Time. Now the first thing we gotta do is put in our name. And just to keep true to the randomizer fashion, I'm gonna use a random name generator to pick our name. I got the name Ira. <laughs> awesome! We're white! This looks so cool! It looks like Link <laughs> used a little bit too much bleach when washing the Kokiri tunic. And the first thing we'll do is we're gonna go into Mido's house because there is four treasure chests in here. Chest number one holds, whoa, a huge rupee. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, we got a heart container for number three. What? A second heart container? Okay, we're already up to five hearts, that's awesome. And chest number four has a blue rupee. Oh my gosh. The next chest we're gonna go for is the Kokiri sword chest. Hopefully we can get something good. We need to get a really good item such as like the hook shot or the bomb bag. All right, another bloopy. My favorite. Woo, what do you want, Navi? Come on, be brave. Let's go into the great Deku tree. Shut up, don't be telling me what to do. Although we're actually about to go to the great Deku tree. Now one thing I have done is I created a tier list to be able to show what items are the best, the items we want the most and the items we want the least. But first let's go ahead and buy our Deku shield. And we're just gonna buy a few Deku sticks. Look at this short little guy back here. He just, he can't see over the counter. It's so sad. And also look at this girl over here. Papa Blessing over here. All right, first chest inside the Deku tree. And we get the compass. Awesome. Okay, we got the map and the compass. So the next three chests we get inside this dungeon are going to be something randomized. All right, don't forget this little guy up here. Just chilling up on his perch. Lots of people tend to miss this. Okay, the Hylian shield. Now one of my favorite parts is climbing up these vines and trying to avoid these spiders. Last night I was walking into my house and I walked face first into a giant spider web in front of my front door. And I freaked out, guys. I freaked out. That is, it's probably my worst fear, just walking through giant spider webs, like face first. Cause then you don't know where the spider is and you go through like a miniature panic attack. It is not a fun time. Ooh, look, a piece of heart, cool. Ooh, stop L targeting. Need to jump, wow. Why do I suck? And then the Deku Baba just hit me. Stop it, dude. These things also have like the worst breath. And there's one more chest after this one in the dungeon. Okay, we got a bottle that gives us some Lon Lon milk and that allows us to mark off our first thing on the item tracker. That's not too shabby. Okay, let's jump and break the web. Hopefully I don't miss. It always sucks when you miss and have to re-climb up the whole entire Deku tree. Even though I've beaten this game a million times, I still, for some reason, happen to do that. Let's go ahead and jump attack this dude. Oh no, we have to jump from the ledge. It's so cr though. Now you also get something randomized. Okay, the adult's wallet. That's not too bad. Now we can collect more than 99 rupees, which is nice. So in case we get another huge rupee, we can actually hold the whole thing. Now there is one more item inside this dungeon, and that's the heart container you get from beating Goma. But unfortunately, since we do not have the slingshot, we're not able to get to Goma or even beat Goma. <laughs> we're just going to run right past Saria and get our fairy ocarina. Fantastic. And now we're going to be in Hyrule Fields. Here is the best thing about the randomizer. No Kepora Gaybora trying to talk to us and waste our time. But the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to Hyrule Castle. We're gonna go talk to Zelda and get our first song. And let's not forget to climb our chains. There we go. Oof. He just broke both of his legs. I'm not sure how he's still walking, but he's being a trooper. 
There we go. Oh, normally you can get two red rupees, but I failed. All right, so we're almost to Talon sleeping over here. All right, let's pick him up with our cock. What in tarnation? Hello, who might you be? Yep, I'm Talon, the owner of Lon Lon Ranch. Yep, you've been sleeping for 20 long years, sir. I just love his arms. I mean, he just waves them all over the place as he's running away. It's so great. Now, this is, in my opinion, one of the most slept on songs in the game, The Castle Courtyard. Doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. We gotta be sneaky, Charlie. I'm sure the sunlight is reflecting off my tunic and making me super bright and noticeable, but fortunately, these guards have an IQ of like 12. So, they don't notice me. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get Zelda's letter. That's not randomized. There's a couple items in this game that aren't randomized, as you might have noticed. Zelda's letter being one of them. And we're about to learn our first song, and this is also randomized as well. Normally, you would get Zelda's lullaby, but we might get the Borlo of Fire, or the Serenade of Water, or the Song of Storms, maybe Despacito 2. We're about to find out. Let's see. Impa, what do you have for us? Okay, Song of Time. Now, this is... This is a mediocre song to get, not the best song. Now real quick, we're going to do one of my least favorite things to do over and over again in the randomizer, but I have to do it because you don't, you never know, you could get the hook shot from doing the most random thing, and that's collecting all of Anju's cuckoos. I still don't understand why a lady who is allergic to chickens decided to be a chicken farmer, but I mean, was it Beethoven who was deaf, but still ended up being one of the best composers of all time? He didn't let nothing stop her, and neither is Anju. Before we collect the cuckoos, there's a couple things that I want to do. The first is this man on the roof over here. And this dude, he has some nice pants. He has some DIY galaxy pants. He was on top of the DIY galaxy trend before any YouTuber got on that. He was ahead of his time. Okay, he ended up giving us a piece of heart, so we got what we normally would have gotten from him. And there's also a grotto down here that has a chest inside of it. Another piece of heart. Then that gives us three now. Pieces of heart are pretty frequent finds because there's a lot of pieces of heart in this game. And we return the last cuckoo. Oh, thank you for finding my cuckoos. I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. She gets those goosebumps every time. Yeah. We got a bloopy. Great. Like I said, that's the name of the game. This randomizer can either be really nice to you or it can be a complete jerk. But anyways, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna collect uh, this heart piece by climbing up the Death Mountain Trail. Now I'm almost like questioning whether or not it's worth coming up here to get this heart piece, but your randomizers, they're just so random. Like we might get a blue rupee like we just got from Anju, or we might get the hook shot. Um, like every heart piece. Wow, gosh, too many blue rupees. This thing is being so mean to me. I'm gonna go write an angsty Tumblr post about how the Zelda Rock Ocarina of Time randomizer was bullying me and how it hurt my feelings. But I'm just gonna wait for it to become nighttime so we can go to the graveyard and play the grave digging game with Dompe. I thought Navi was the sun for a second. Dompe the grave digger. I wonder what happened to his jaw to make it all like, like hingy. Like it's not even like completely connected to the hinges. All right, even though this looks like it's a heart piece, it's going to give us something random, and we get. Okay, I'll take it. Better than the blue rupees we've been collecting. We now have six hearts. Although I'm very, very tempted to lower my hearts down so I can show you guys what sound effect we get. Let's go ahead and find out. Oh my gosh, it's the Navi sound effect. That's like the worst one we could get. That's so annoying. Shut up, Navi! <laughs> okay, I can't take this. This is just pure torture. I'm gonna go ahead and drink our Lon Lon milk so we don't have to endure this for the next 20 minutes. I always thought it's really weird how the Lon Lon milk doesn't spoil though. It must be some like really special sort of milk. Lon Lon cows, they're a special breed. But I looked up to see what horchata was made out of, and no joke, the main, one of the main ingredients in horchata is tiger nuts. And I was like, mmm, love drinking my tiger nut juice. Let's go talk to Malin first because I want to see what song we get. Okay, we got the Prelude of Light. Oh, look at Epona. She loves us. She keeps nuzzling us. Nuzzle, 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 nuzzle. I guess we could call this game now a nuzzle lock. <laughs> huh. Huh. All right, let's see what's back in this random stable. Okay, please give me something good. I need just one good item. Just one. Empty bottle. Okay. 
We have, I think, Ruto's note is inside. That's pretty good because now we can get to Lord Jabu Jabu whenever we can get to Zora's domain. Whenever I go to Chinese restaurants, you know how they have like these like maps or placeholders that show what animal represents what year you were born? Well, I was born in 1993, and 1993 is the year of the cock. And I'm all for being born in the year of the cock. <laughs> wow! Jeez! Ah! No! We haven't gotten one useful item yet! I'm thinking about going back to Hyrule Castle real fast because there's quite a few things we can do there and we're almost there. But the real reason we're here is we're going to play the target shooting mini game. Hopefully I can get this first try. <laughs> The very first time I did it, I played the randomizer, I did get a first try, and then the second time I played, it took me like 10 tries. I don't know how I got worse- NO! DANG IT! WONDERFUL! BRAVO! PERFECT! Dang, all those exclamation points. Here's the fantastic present. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is kind of fantastic. Now we can beat Ganondorf? Although we don't even have the bow or magic meter yet. Alright. Oh! Gotta wait for the iconic wolf howl. Okay, the reason we're waiting for it to be nighttime is so we can collect little Richard over here and take it back to her mother. Richard! Also, for those of you who don't know, Richard is a long version of the name Dick. So yes, this lady named her dog Dick. <sighs> I'm just not gonna even say anything. Oh, but look at like a little Dick, he's such a good boy. Most of the chests we can get right now, we can also get as Adult Link, but we can also get a lot more chests as Adult Link. So let's go ahead and do this. I still think this is like a blatant copy of the Sword of the Stone. I found out yesterday that that movie came out in 1963, so Zelda completely got its inspiration from that. But it's okay, most art is inspired by other art. But first things first, let's get our Song of Storms, which is going to be randomized. Ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. Everyone's oh my gosh, this guy is just so angry looking what you got an ocarina. What the heck? Yes Woo! Hallelujah, we finally got something that's so much helpful to us We get Zelda's lullaby which opens up a lot more things. I'm really happy we turn into adult link. Oh Thank God that's gonna be so nice And even though we didn't actually play the Song of Storms, it still speeds up the windmill. Okay, let's go ahead and race Dompe, our favorite hunchbacked ghost. It looks very similar to Quasimodo. Alright, so we get... normally You normally get the hook shot for beating it the first time. And then if you do it a second time and beat it in under a minute, you get a heart piece. And what should we get? None other than... Din's Fire! Okay, I will take that. Because now we can light torches and stuff like that. Except we can't use it because we don't have the magic meter. I forgot. You have to get the magic meter. I'm so sad now. Anyways, let's go ahead and collect this heart piece. Hopefully we get something useful. We're either going to get this one. And then before I end the episode, I'm going to do the Dompe race a second time. And get that heart piece. Whoa! Your defensive power has been enhanced. Okay, this isn't the most useful thing for me right now, but that does give us the white outline in our hearts, which means that we have double damage. We're almost there. Oh my gosh, can I make it? Oh no, one second! You've got to be kidding me! What? I didn't get hit once, I was doing so well. Okay, well, the best way to reset yourself so you don't have to like walk all the way through again is, did she just tell us to go to the Great Decker Tree again? Come to this door. And you quickly go left, right, and you lock yourself in and it teleports you back to the beginning. If you don't do that, you have to walk all the way back around, which kind of sucks. <sighs> I don't know how I lost that, but here we go again. No, don't bonk. Please, Link, don't bonk on me. We're almost there. I'm taking, like, every single shortcut I know. I'm rolling whenever I can. I'm trying to cut all the corners. I haven't got hit by the fire. I have 10 seconds. If I don't do it this time, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, yeah, we definitely got it this time. Okay, awesome. And we get... Boomerang! Yes! We finally got an item that's somewhat useful. Now we can use the boomerang as Young Link to collect the Skulltula tokens, which is going to be super useful. So unfortunately, Link didn't listen to his elders, and he tried the evil drug known as marijuana, and he got permanently stoned. And now, 
he was turned into a grave for the rest of his life. So sad. L's in chat. We're gonna go down into the royal family grave. Now, lots of people in the comments were like, Tyler, you are a lucky son of a bitch for getting Zelda's lullaby. And I know this opens up so many things. It opens up this grave, Zora's domain, lots of things and tons of dungeons. For some reason, Zelda's lullaby is using a ton of dungeons to open up stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and get the sun song down here. Wait, where's the... Other bat. I'm missing one somewhere. Oh, it's up here. I found him. Come down. I can't. You don't have any projectiles. Come down towards me. How come you always like come down, but right now you're not. There we go. Perfect. Oh my gosh. Yes, we are so lucky. This is another great song to get. Sun song. Now we can easily change it from night to day. This could just save me so much time. Oh, I am a happy boy right now. I'm the happiest can ever. Fun thing to watch. Oh no! Get your gross skin off me, old man. Ugh. Redes are so gross. But they have some nice thighs. Dim thighs, though. And something else I'm going to add due to popular demand, and that is a blue rupee counter. Because for some people, for some reason, people want a measurement of my pain. I'm not sure what it is with you guys, but you like watching. Let's players be in pain. What is it with that? Why are you guys the way you are? And also, here's a little known glitch, is you can get into this room just by climbing up as Adult Link, so that's pretty nice, so we can easily get this heart piece. Winner! Wait, is that, why did it say winner? What? Oh, that must have been the, that must have been the heart piece you get from the Bomb Shoe mini game, and it gave us the same text. That's hilarious. She also gives us something. Normally, this is how we start the side quest to get the big Goron sword. But we're just going to get something else randomly. Oh my gosh, we got the magic meter. We can now use our Din's fire. Dang. This is actually turning out pretty great. Let's go back and light those torches and see what chest we got back in the royal tomb. Kame, Hame, Ha! That was fabulous, Link. Good job. Good job. Oh my god. No freaking way. This is one of the best items we can get. It's on the top of my tier list. This opens up so much stuff. Holy crap, I'm so happy right now. So there's a hole somewhere right here. In this ROM hack, you have to just know where the grottos are. We're getting lots of treasure chests now. The fact that we got the bombs is next level. Because now we can go to Zora's Domain. And we have Ruto's letters, so we can go to Lord Jabu Jabu. That opens up so much. I'm glad this is going well. Holy crap! We are getting so much good stuff! Normally, you do not get this many good things in a row. But, Lady Luck, she is DTF right now. She wants to get wet <laughs> with Link. And Dodongo's Cavern really doesn't take a long time as adult Link. We'll get through it pretty quickly. It'll probably take, I'm guessing, five minutes. Let's see if I'm right. Now, the thing is kind of funny that adult Link can't pick up Bob Bombs without the Goron Bracelet. You think he'd be strong enough by now. Although, I mean, I guess he was internal slumber for seven years, so he probably didn't get much of a workout in. The compass. Oh, add it to the counter. I'm not too upset. I can't be. We've gotten too many good things this episode. I have no right to be upset. So I'm going to take a quick shortcut right here. If you get at the right angle with this jump, you can grab this ledge if you do a roll. Oh. Okay. Nice. Second try. I'll take it. Now here's the chest that normally holds the bomb bag. Hopefully we get at least one good item in this dungeon. Nope. <laughs> Recovery heart. Go ahead and put some bombs into these eye sockets. I've never fully understood how this opens up the mouth. I don't know what kind of like future primitive technology they were using. But it's pretty neat. I wonder who made the Dodongo Caverns. My guess is that it used to be like the old Goron City. But then the Dodongos took it over. No, wait, don't the Dodongos come in here to get their food? Like, isn't that the whole, like, plot line for Dodongos Cavern is the Gorons are starving and you have to come in here and defeat the Dodongos to get the food out? I think we're able to just... Yeah, I can't believe Link is able to make that jump. It does not seem like Link should be able to, but he can, so I'll take it. I think we might need the boomerang for... Well, we have the boomerang, but... Oh, no, we don't. Awesome. Why can't adult Link use the boomerang? That's such a weird concept. In the slingshot, too. Is it because those are kid items? An adult can't be seen playing with children toys? Alright, here's the last chest in the dungeon. 
Oh, nice! Another bottle! <laughs> Alright, King Dodongo shouldn't take too long because we have the Master Sword, and that really speeds things up. A couple of jump attacks, and he should be dead. Yeah! Got some indigestion, buddy? Need some Tums? No, I'm sorry. It's so bad. He ends up pretty much just killing himself, honestly. He just rolls into the lava and, you know, shrivels up and dies. Poor guy. Okay, piece of heart. I'll take it. And we're about to get our first medallion or emerald. Normally we get the Goron Ruby, but we got the Shadow Medallion. All right. Can I'm gonna go up to Goron City real quick because there's quite a few chests we can get up there. Oh shoot. Hmm. I wonder if we have enough bombs to get through here. We only have seven. I'm gonna try to take the quickest path as possible. And yeah, we can only get two chests. We need the Mega Ten Hammer to get to the other one. But yeah, these are the stones. What are these called? I forgot their names. Are they the Sheikah stones? Hopefully I'm right, or else I'm gonna look like the worst Zelda fan ever. Some Deku nuts. Mm, nut. And last but not least, a blue rupee. <laughs> Yay! I guess the next thing we could do is go turn back into Child Link and go to Zora River and do some stuff there and then go to Lord Jabu Jabu. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. I'm gonna break open a couple of these grottos and get the treasure chest inside of them. Wait, what? Why did that not break? Well, never mind. I guess we're just gonna break into one of the grottos. That bomb was right next to the rock. I have no clue why it didn't break open. That's so dumb. I'm kind of pissed off now. Hopefully we get bombs. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I just called that. We got bomb shoes. We have to just hold the bomb. We have to let it blow up in our hands. Sorry, Link. You're about to lose your hands. But it's all right. Oh, wait. No, we can't get this. We need the iron boots to sink down and get it. Let's play everybody's favorite mini game. Bomb Chew Bowling. <laughs> this girl's sleeping on the job, if that's not relatable. The way she wakes up is really creepy. This is the one that's super annoying because the cuckoos can get in your way. It's a little bit of RNG. We need RNGs us to bless us. Oh, ooh. If we're lucky enough, if this chick if this chicken will get out of our way, get out of our way. No, 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 no. Oh. And now it's gonna stay there. Oh, go, 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 go back, go back. Dang it! No, turn around, turn around. Ugh! Now why is that chicken so big in the first place? It's the mother of all chickens. What? It was off to the side for so long. Oh, here we go, here we go. It's our window. Sweet. Okay, so what are we gonna get from this? <gasps> Wait, the broken Goron sword? <laughs> what? <laughs> we can't do anything with this. This is from the side quest, the trading quest. All right, that's weird. It's a weird item to get. Okay, this is our last chance. If I don't win, then I'll have to come back later. Please don't let all of this be for nothing. Please. All right, and we're getting the last prize. Please tell me this was all worth it. Please, fingers crossed. Okay, well at least it wasn't a blue rupee, I guess. We're at least getting our money back. No, I don't want to play again, thank you. All right, now to Zora's River. <laughs> I'm gonna try to grab this heart piece and then go back and get our chicken before he jumps into the river. Purple rupee, all right, we're refilling our wallet. That's not a bad thing. All right, add that onto the counter. The counter of evilness. Is evilness a word? First time using the boomerang, wait. Wow, perfect timing. It just disappeared. The sun is running a sprint in the air. It's gonna be tired tomorrow. Bum, ba, da, ba, bum. I feel like the king should go out and maybe you know, walk around a little bit. It's looking a little bit in the chunky side. <laughs> he just teleports. Pew! Okay, but before we progress with that, there's two things we can get inside here. First off, there's the diving mini game that normally gives you the silver scale, and then we also have these torches that we can light. And we're gonna go behind the waterfall. How the splashes of the waterfall don't put out our stick is beyond me, but. No, just don't question video game logic. Video game logic was not meant to be questioned. It was meant to be a thing, and that is that. Another piece of heart. A lot of pieces of heart in this game, so. Okay, so we got the broken Big Goron Sword, and now we have the actual Big Goron Sword. I will take that. It's gonna make fighting all of the bosses as Adult Link much better. Okay, before we go inside Lord Jabu Jabu, I'm going to collect some of these Skulltulas 
And we're also going to go to the Great Fairy, because we have the bombs that enter the Great Fairy. And then we have the Lullaby, so we can activate all the Great Fairies. And also, sorry, lesbians and straight men. We do not get to see the Great Fairy's gigantic pointy boobs. I'm so sorry about that. Worst day of your guys' lives. I know you were super excited. It's weird how the jellyfish can float around in here, because there's no water. They're literally flying jellyfish. That's pretty cool. Now that I think about it, <laughs> in Spongebob, jellyfish are the only fish in that show that swim. All, the, all of the other fish and sea creatures walk on land, but then jellyfish swim. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> he knocked me onto the switch. All right, Ruto. And now we're going to use Ruto as a toll. Why should we use our boomerang to hit this switch up on the ceiling when we could just throw her at it? <laughs> I love it. Ruto, you're a basic bitch. Did you know that? Look at how basic she looks. Ruto loves to drink pumpkin spice lattes. She loves going to the pink store. And she also was a huge fan of Lana Del Rey, I bet. Oh! <gasps> Hover boots! Now we can do a majority of the Shadow Temple. <laughs> Dang. Freaking awesome. And part of the Spirit Temple as well. Hopefully this kills him. And all of them. Nope. In between episodes, I left Jabu Jabu's belly to go and get some Deku sticks because we were out. But then somebody told me in the comments that you can kill these dudes with Ruto's ass. So we're about to find out right now if this is true. Oh my god, <laughs> the most OP item in the game. Can we kill these guys in the air with Ruto? You can. This is amazing. I am in love. <laughs> this is like the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole entire life. <laughs> We're just wrecking everything with Ruto's amphibious butt. It's okay. So now we get a big chest. This is normally the boomerang, but today we're going to get something else. This is either the map or an item. Hey, we got the nut upgrade. Let's dodge these parasites. I'm not sure what Jabu Jabu's been eating, but it doesn't seem like it's very fresh because it's not looking too healthy. We can get some more Sculptula tokens. I'm not sure how many we have. Let me collect these two and then we will check our numbers. <gasps> Ruto found the thing. This is probably my favorite spiritual stone. Sapphires are just really pretty. I found out one of the best ways to kill this guy. Wait. I might have messed up. Please don't tell me I messed up. Okay, no I didn't. Okay, so you let him hit you. While well, you turn around. Hit him with the boomerang. No, I messed it up. I freaking messed it up. Can I hit him? Come on. Stop him. You can actually kill him one hit with a <laughs> Deku Stick jump attack. Normally you can beat him in like five seconds if you hit him like right away, but I was really dumb. I forgot the order. Okay, another gold sculptula. Oh, I forgot to check how many we have. Well, we'll add another to the list. We currently have 13. Cool. So after this, we can go and turn in our first batch of gold sculptulas. Time to fight the brain of the whole operation. All right, shoot me with your futuristic sonar beams. Because that makes a whole lot of sense. Oh, he actually got me. Fair game, Baronade. Fair game. But... Oh, I thought that was going to kill him. That's going to be the map. Yep. Great. Love that. And here's our impatient woman. Oh my gosh, she has the lewd, rosy cheeks. Forest medallion. I will take that. That is a great medallion to get. Because if we can also get the water medallion, that'll activate the cutscene where Sheik is thrown around in Kakriko Village, and then we get the Nocturne of Shadow. All right, well, now that we beat our first dungeon, we have to decide where we want to go next. I guess we can just go to Kakriko Village. All right, and we made it to the Skulltula House. We're in a really nice sunset. All right, here he is doing jumping jacks over here. He's finally not a spider anymore. And he rewards us with the Stone of Agony. So back when the Nintendo 64 came out, later on they added an addition to the controller called the Rumble Pack, and it allowed the controller to rumble. Let's get her. That was like some cutting edge technology back in the day. And so what this item does normally in the game is it vibrates every single time you're above a hitting grotto or one of those holes in the ground so you can know where they are. 
Okay, so there's a couple things we can do in here real fast. First is we can stop this rolling Goron with one of our bomb shoes. But we can only stop him when he's in this cavern over here, which is perfect timing. I don't know why you have to stop him in this, like, back room. Dang it. No. Don't. Good thing our bomb can chase him down. Get him! Get him! No, we missed! No! And now we have to wait for him to circle all the way around again. I was gonna read that sign, too. I was interested. I'm like, what does that sign say? And then I watched the bomb shoe murder it in cold blood. <laughs> this is so sad. It was so young. It had so much information to tell us. And we'll never know. Okay, and thank you. For a second, I thought I was going to dodge him. Oh, he's inside the wall. Mayday. All right, I'll give you this in praise of your courage. Courage? The big bomb bag. We actually got the bomb bag upgrade. That's actually kind of strange that we got what we were supposed to. That doesn't happen very often. Alright, so next thing we'll do is we're going to go to Saria's forest. I don't know why I named it after Saria. The forest belongs to Saria. She claimed it as her own. Oh, we got Saria's song. I'm going to talk to some of these gossip stones and see if we can get some knowledge. I overheard this. They say that the frozen cavern echoes with the song of sandy statues. Sandy statues. So I'm guessing the ice cavern is going to give us the Requiem of Spirit. They say that the Mask of Truth yields a common coin. Okay, so <laughs> doing the whole mask trading side quest, not really worth it because we would just get rupees apparently. All right, next thing, since we have Saria's song, we can do a couple of things. That first off allows us to go and make Darunia a dancy boy. But there's also a heart piece we can get inside the Lost Woods as well. Did I ever get the heart piece that you're supposed to get from doing the ocarina memorization game down here i don't think i did so i'm gonna do that real quickly and for those of you who want to hear the final song it's yeah, i know my voice is quite beautiful you might be thinking to yourself wow is that susan boyle i thought this was attacking toucans but no it's attacking toucans i know i sound a lot like susan boyle but i fooled you guys I always wonder, because I don't think school kids age, I wonder which of the school kids inside the Lost Woods is the one that we run into in Majora's Mask, or if you actually see the same one. You probably don't, because this is Hyrule, and Majora's Mask is in Tremenia. You know, sorry, song. we should be friends. Here, take this. Okay, we're filling our wallet back up. That's not terrible. I surrender! To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up some more deck of sticks, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Sure, buddy boy. Oh, yeah. So worth it. We ended up losing 35 rupees from that. We are going to get the heck out of the Lost Woods and go back to Goron City and turn Darunia into the danciest boy that anybody has ever seen. Hey, what a nice tune. Almost as good as Despacito. Damn it. <laughs> I am still unsure as to how lighting torches activates a spinning pot, but the Zoli games used to be kind of weird. So we wanted to land on the happiest face. First try, baby! Okay, we got the heart piece, but we couldn't really see it because the red rupee was totally photobombing it. All right, let's GTFO out of these caverns. Oh, we get to watch the sunrise from the top of the mountain. Guys, let's just take a moment and just take in the sights. Sometimes you just gotta slow down a bit and just take in the view. Now, I'm going to teach you guys one of the most amazing tricks known to man. It is called backpedaling past all of the rocks and none of them can hit us. I didn't know this until recently, but if you just backpedal, none of the rocks are fast enough to keep up. Link is just way too fast. He's running this like a Kenyan. He's going to run his... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah! No! Link, I'm so sorry. Although you have double damage. So, I think you're okay. Hello, Kpora, Gabora. I thought we got rid of you in this randomizer. But you're here. And you're looking fierce as ever. Ooh, put out that, stretch out that neck. Stretch it out to the heavens, girl. Mm. Sick! The Goron Bracelet! That is what I'm talking about. That is also really helpful. Okay, Furore's Wind. That doesn't allow us to, like, open up anything new, but it can become a little bit helpful. All right, and now we're at our chompy boy over here. Now I'm gonna grab four of these. We technically only need three, but I'm going to plant one right next to him because, honestly, this bean sprout is a really quick way of Zora's River, unless you're an adult. 
who lives in a pineapple that's in the air. Giant pea hats. Another hidden hole. Can we get to it before this guy decapitates us? Find out next time. Or right now. Hey, what? Have we seriously found all four bottles? Heart piece. Oh, nice. We have another heart added. So I'm trying to be as like thorough as I can, trying not to backtrack too much. Another heart piece. All right, here we are. Lake Hylia is the lake for me, Lake Hylia. Oh. Yes, there are many things wrong with me. No, none of those things are diagnosed yet. I prefer not to get them diagnosed. I, I think ignorance is bliss in this situation. Early P-Hat catches the link. <gasps> Who lives in it? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, and he also releases babies, I hear? I think. Oh, yeah, the babies are also trying to get us fun stuff. Oh, who's so cute with the P-Hat babies? Who's so cute with the P-Hat baby? You are. You can't get me. You can't. Oh, did they die? Oh, no, they did not die. Ah, now you can't get me. Ah! Okay, so there's only two things we can do right here. And they're both heart pieces. Oh my god, Link, don't look down, don't look down. Oh my god, you look down, I'm so sorry. We're really, really high. Cuckoo, please don't walk off. Please don't commit suicide. You, Cuckoo, you had so much to live for. No. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Fire arrows. Hot. I'm not afraid of heights if I'm in a secure location. 50 rupees, okay. Okay, before we get the Skulltula prize, I'm gonna come back to the graveyard and collect one more Skulltula. And also plant our bean back here. The curse has been broken. Thank you. Here's a reward for you. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to do next. There's not a whole lot more we can do as young Link as far as I'm concerned. So I think we're going to have to go back and turn into an adult. Oh, look at Link's Goron bracelet. So fashionable. I wonder if Versace made it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, I totally forgot that if you beat the Forest Temple and come back to the Temple of Time, you get the Prey of Light. But we're getting the Song of Storms this time, which is pretty awesome. This allows us to go into the bottom of the well as Young Link, and it also opens up some grottos. Let's see, what else can we really do right now? I know. We're going to go up to Death Mountain because there's a couple things up there we can do. All right, so since we just got the Song of Storms... First thing we're going to do is play it right here. All right, what should we have here, Shunny? Oh, damn! We're rich! A full wallet is a happy wallet. That is what I've always thought. And inside here we have Link, or no, his name's Ira. I'm just gonna throw a couple bombs and hopefully he'll get hit by him. Whoa! First try, that like never happens. Dang, I'm so okay with that. I'm 100% okay with that. Sometimes this can take so long. And we got a uh, heart piece. All right. The main thing we need to find right now is the hook shot. Because the hook shot is how you get into almost every single temple as an adult. I'm trying to think. Can we get to the forest temple? Because Sheik normally teaches us a song. But we don't have the hook shot. So I'm not sure if that's a possibility. What if we got the hook shot right here? No. Do, 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 do. You know who I am because I am the kid from the woods. But I'm just a whole lot older now. Why you didn't age because you're a dirty cow? I think there's one more hole that has a chest in it in the Lost Woods. Might be wrong. Does this have something in it? Like a Deku scrub or something along those lines? Oh yeah, it does. I think one of these sells us an item. Hey, two for the price of one, baby. Oh, he missed. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku nuts. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. What? I am so happy that I went inside this hole. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. Okay. Damn, we are so lucky. I'm so happy that I remembered this hole was a thing. I honestly forgot about it like the first four times I played through a randomizer, but I so happened to remember it this time. And I'm so happy that I did because we, we wouldn't have been able to progress through the game if I hadn't remembered that hole. And there's also one right here, I think, too. It's a really weird trippy hole. Oh, Deku Nut upgrade. Even a bigger nut. Okay, well, we got our hook shot, so we are in this to win this. Ooh. Oh. Dang it. There we go. You have learned the Balero of Fire. 
Do we want to start the Forest Temple right now, or do we want to wait until we have the Bow and Arrow? The thing is, the Bow and Arrow could be in the first half of the Forest Temple. We might as well just, like, do as much as we can. Now, we're going to go for the first key up here. Now, I'm pretty sure this key stumped so many people when they first played this game. Because you wouldn't think that there would be a hidden chest in this first room. I know it stumped me a long time as a kid. Oh, no, I did not mean to pull myself to the Gold Skulltula. Oh, man, they were waiting for me the whole time. Okay, let's try this again. Buckaroo. Not gonna hurt me this time. Whee! That would have made more sense if they put a lock on this first door. So you know you had to get a key in this room to progress. But no, they just allowed you to go straight forward. So, sorry, buddy. Not today. You thought... Okay, I'm gonna pull out my nuts. We have a lot of them. We have 40 nuts. Because we got two upgrades to those bad boys. Oh, look, we're getting a nut refill as well. Maybe he liked getting killed. Another key. Wow! It's the first instance of an ice chest. Freezing us on the spot. Dang. So it looks like we're not having any luck. There's not m many more treasure chests we can get. There's a... Huh? Honestly, there's one more treasure chest we can get, and it's a little bit far away. All right, and another Stathos fight. Stathos are kind of fun to fight, but they're also a little bit frustrating at times. Oh, wait! I just freaking remember. We have the big Goron sword. What am I doing? I'm sure you guys were all, like, screaming at me to put it on. This will definitely speed up the process by a lot. Come on. Attack. First he protect. Then he attack. And then he... Then he knacks too, baby! Ooh. Sorry, I'm making references to Dunkey. Dunkey is one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, is this door locked? I think it is. Okay, we cannot progress any further in this dungeon until we get the bow and arrow. But we have a large portion of it started, which I am totally okay with. Alright, bye Forest Temple. You sucked. We didn't get anything from you. At all. Okay, so the next place we'll go to is... Let's go ahead and play the Boralo of Fire. Or, I think I pronounced that wrong. Okay, Serenade of Water. That doesn't open up anything for us, but that's a great teleport. It's like the only way we can teleport to that whole entire side of the map. It's all rainy. The lake has been drained. I'm not sure where all the water went. So sad. Lake Hylia. It sucks now, Lake Hylia. Uh, take tight, you're about to get wrecked by my big Goron sword, buddy. Damn, I feel so powerful. Hey, aren't you that fairy kid or whatever? Yes, I am. And there's your song. I'm about to play it so fast. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use that to get on top of this laboratory building. There we go. Okay. Oh, hello. Attacking crow cans is what they're going to call me now. Well, I guess crow cans isn't a actual bird. We just call it. Let's go with attacking crows. That makes a lot more sense. And we have a... Recovery heart. Worth it. <laughs> Give it to me. It's worth it. Oh gosh. Link, I'm so sorry. Ooh. Well, I don't think we can go out anymore. I think Link broke his legs and now he has to wait for them to heal. Wow. Attacking us while we're disabled. You would. You would. I guess we just killed his brother, so it makes sense. No. Get back here. I'm gonna nut on you. Okay, whatever. I guess I lost this one. The plan today is to go to the Ice Cavern. Yes, very interesting choice, I know. But there's quite a few things we can get there, and there's also the Requiem of Spirit. Alright, and we're here to the Zora River, and I planted this bean last time. That way we could easily just make our way up the river. Okay, Octorok, this is enough. I'm tired of your bull crap, sir. What are Octorok's rocks made out of? Like, where does that come from? Are they like owl pellets? Like, they take what they eat, and then they, like, compress all the bones into these weird rock things that they regurgitate and spit out at you i don't know it's weird but we have king zora frozen right here i don't really know how this happened unless it was a flash freeze i think it honestly was like a magical flash freeze and none of the zoras got to escape got to escape we never quite learns what happened to jabu jabu hopefully he took a vacation to cancun or something all right let's get over to the slippery platform and That is a good item right there. Mmm, the Megaton Hammer. Now we can do the Fire Temple. We have everything needed to do the Fire Temple now. Well, do we need the bow and arrow? I think Ice Cavern is 
the worst dungeon in the whole entire game. And it's not that bad, which does say a lot about this game. Like, the worst dungeon isn't that bad. I think the reason I don't like it, though, is you spend a lot of time bottling blue fire and ice keys. Honestly, ice keys suck. They can suck my dick. Actually, no, they can't, because that would probably suck. They would turn my dick into a popsicle. A dick sickle. Wait, actually, real fast, I'm gonna show you guys something freaking hilarious. I'm gonna show you Link's face when he gets frozen, like, up close. Uh, did you guys see it? Uh, I put the camera behind me. I will say that I like the icicle sound effects. They're just so crisp. We only need two bottles of blue fire to seamlessly get through this. We're gonna have to drink our red potion, but we have Lon Lon milk and a fairy, so I'm not worried. Ah! See, I hate, I hate the keys and they're so hard to kill. Okay, next keys that gets near me is getting the nut. Sick piece of heart. There's a really cold heart piece over here. So what happens when you're a cold-hearted bitch. Eventually your heart just gets encased by a bunch of ice. It's the map. 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 Yes. We needed a good bomb shoe refill. Thank you. How many freaking stalactites are there? Holy crap. They don't end. It's enough. Oh, I need to put my nuts back on. Welcome to the prettiest room of the game. Oh my gosh, this wall. Like, I I love it. It's like getting tangled up in those ice crystals. Dang, one hit to the back. I kind of feel bad. Yeah, but we're going to get a song. And we got the Requiem of Spirit, like the Gossip Stone told us we would. Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you're having a hard time breathing underwater. Normally he gives us the blue tunic, but this time he's repaying us with a blue rupee. Same color, but eh, value's not quite quite as there. Speaking of Requiem of Spirit, let's go ahead and teleport there because we can easily get another song from that area. I really hope we get, I'm gonna say Epona's song because then we can go to the Gerudo Fortress. No, Nocturne, not with the Nocturne of Shadow. I'll take it back. Nocturne of Shadow is what I want. Dang it. I should have said Nocturne of Shadow first. The game heard me say Epona song, and it's like, okay, Epona song. I'm like, no, never mind, change my mind. And it's like, no, you said Epona song first. Sorry, it's what you're getting. We're going to come to this butt crack in the wall over here and blow it open. That, yeah, why do I say it? I don't know why I word things the way I do. Hey, piece of heart. That's not what I wanted. I'm not sure why I reacted that way. Since we have the red tunic on, let's just go to Fire Temple. We have the Megaton Hammer, have the red tunic. Might as well do it. Let's get hot, baby. Hot, hot, hot. Now we should be able to finish the fire temple in one go. I don't think there's anything preventing me from finishing it right now. Oh, all right. So we're gonna have to save all the Gorons because that's where all the treasure chests are. Oh my gosh, what happened to your face? Ah, the Goron caught Ligma. No, he was so young. That's really creepy. That is glitching out really weird. I don't like it. Please don't look at me. You're creeping me out, dude. Man, I know it's bad to like discriminate based on looks, but that was kind of next level bad. It looked like he was like a Goron version of the Slender Man. <laughs> he looks so funny. He looks so naked without his fire. He looks like a big clump of dry lint, honestly. Oh, and here is our first like-like of the game. Our giant fleshlight styled enemy. We should be able to kill this thing really fast since we have the big Goron sword. Are we still alive? Still alive, buddy? <gasps> Not for long. Here I am, peekaboo. I wonder how much the Megaton Hammer weighs exactly. <gasps> Add it to the counter. Oh, oh. Uh, this guy has herpesifilades on his face. Dude, all of these Gorons are messed up. They've been inbreeding or something. I don't know what's going on. That is something else. <laughs> Guys, these Gorons are straight nightmare fuel. Okay, I feel like M. Night Shyamalan needs to see this and put it in his next movie. And I have pretty quick. Oh gosh, this one's really messed up. The disease is getting worse. He doesn't even have a dick. This is so sad. Oh my gosh, this Goron doesn't even have anything. He doesn't have a back. Oh my lord. I'm just gonna save real fast in case the game crashes, because I'm not sure what's going on here. Hello, Pierre. How are you doing, my friend? Eating any good food lately? Seen any good sights? Met any woman? You stud? Pierre is totally a stud. I mean, what lady can resist this face? Just look at, just, he's so happy. I, he's a lady killer, like, straight up. Let's ascend. To the heavens. Ooh. Normally if you have the long shot, you can just long shot up to that thingamajig up there and get the chest, but we don't have it, so we're just gonna have to run really fast. 
Go, 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 go. Oh. Yes, I did it. Oh, we had to do it too because it was the boss key. Okay, just because I had Ferrer's Wind and we're able to do this, let's... Let's jump. This will be fun. Geronimo! Oh. Oh! That was fun. That was so worth it. And we can just teleport back up. Oh, gosh. That's cool. Just run into me, Boulder. Get jerk. All right, this is the maze that always gives me troubles because I always just get too impatient. Oh, how did I not get hit right there? I sort of know the way through here. I say as I get hit by the fire. We're saving them all. We're so nice. We're such good people. Although Link is just one person, so. Thank you guys so much for watching this series. If you're this far in, that it was the wrong song. If you're this far in the series, give yourself a pat on the nads. Okay, so I don't think this is a key. I don't think there is any more keys in this dungeon. I am wrong. But that does mean that there is some random item. It could be a rupee or a heart piece, but there is something in that top room, so we're gonna have to go for it. This door right here, I'm gonna show you guys, for those of you who haven't seen this game, because apparently there's quite a few of you who have never played Ocarina of Time. This is the wobbly door. Oh, So we're just gonna have to break it down. I love the doors. It looks like they're snickering at us. They're like, hee 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 hee. Now that we've pretty much completed the fire temple, all we have left to do is go fight our favorite dragon, Volvagina. I mean, Volvagia. Wait, we did get the boss key, right? Why do we have an extra key? I honestly have no idea where this could go to. We've been through every room. We've gotten every treasure chest. I don't know. I guess we have a surplus. Freaking fantastic. Now, I would say Volvagia is one of my least favorite boss fights in this game. I mean, I do like it. It's really fun. It's like playing whack-a-mole with a dragon. But now that I've played it a million more times, I'm not as big of a fan because there is a decent amount of waiting involved. Oh my gosh, Navi. Yes. Shut up. But I forgot our low health sound effect is Navi's voice. Oh my gosh, this is actual torture. <laughs> Shut up, Navi! I am legit about to turn off the game sound. This is so annoying. Fine, I'll drink some milk. I won't make you guys live through this annoying slut's voice. <laughs> why, do, why do we keep slut shaming Navi? Anyways, what are we gonna get instead of our... All right. <laughs> Great. All right, go around Ruby. That's not actually gonna help with the progression of getting to Ganondorf's castle because we need all of these spiritual stones. But if we do get the other two spiritual stones, we get the Ocarina of Time. All right, we can do this great fairy since we have the Megaton Hammer. And we got another heart container. Is that 10 hearts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is. All right, we have one full line of hearts. Anyways, what else can we do? We can go back to the Skulltula house. I don't think I ever got the 30 Skulltula prize. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. I needed a heart refill. So what are some things we can do now? I'm going to go back to the Temple of Time and turn to Young Link because there's quite a few things we can do as Young Link. And we can also go to the well, the bottom of the well. <laughs> now it's true that we don't have the Lens of Truth yet, but it's honestly not too difficult if you know where everything is. Oh no, we're gonna lose our mint green tunic. We're not gonna be minty fresh anymore. Oh, I forgot there was a Skulltula in there. Landed right on top of my head. That's cool. Cause I love it when gigantic spiders the size of my head land on top of me. That makes me feel super comfortable. So the reason we're here is there's two items we can collect through this mini game involving these frogs that are underwater. Some frogs are looking at you from underwater. Um, that frog is not looking at me. He is facing the complete opposite direction, but okay game. Keep on lying to me like that. Oh, all right, here they are. They're so cute. I love them so much. So I believe it's Song of Storms. We're about to find out. That's how we get the first prize, which is normally a heart piece. But we are going to receive... Singing in the rain. Oh, what a feeling, Ribbit. <laughs> People are gonna be mad because I'm singing again. I don't care. Be mad all you want. Next place we're gonna head to is the Death Mountain Crater. And we're gonna plant our beans. We'll plant the beans here and also the beans in the desert area. <laughs> Link, you're like standing on top of the soil. <laughs> Just an inside joke me and my friend have is <laughs> I love how the map looks like a deflated balloon <laughs> in this area. <laughs> I'll never get past how funny that is. Spirit Temple? We can do the kids section. I don't see any reason we couldn't. We'll go through Naboru's tiny hole right here. 
Luckily, she's not guarding this. We don't have to listen to her 10 minutes of dialogue coming in here. It took me so long to realize that that like circular thing that the Armos is holding is a shield. I thought that was his mouth for my whole entire life. I didn't realize it was a shield until I want to say a couple weeks ago. <laughs> okay, normally this room can be super easy if we have magic because I could just use dense fire to kill this guy. We're screwed. Oh no, can it not make it? Can we not hit this? No, it's barely too far. Wait, what? We literally cannot escape this room unless we kill this dude. And we have no way to kill this man because we don't have the slingshot to shoot this crystal. And we don't have magic to use Din's fire and burn him up. Ooh, idea. What if we use bombs or a bomb chew? There's no way I could make that work, is there? Go, 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 go! Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Go, go, go! Burn in the fire! Yes! I can't believe that actually worked! <gasps> wow. Okay, I will take it. Sometimes you just gotta think outside of the box. If you go back and try to- OH I FORGOT ABOUT THE LOW MASTERS! No! Can we get something useful? Can we get one useful item? It's so annoying to aim with your boomerang sometimes. Oh my gosh! Did he really just hit me forward? Okay, grab it before we get attacked again. Thank you. Whew. All right, can I hit this with my boomerang? I'm like learning about a lot of things I can hit with my boomerang. Things I would normally use a slingshot for. What? Check it out, guys. We actually got something useful. The Zora tunic. We're now halfway to being able to do the water temple. We still need the iron boots. Let him feel the sunshine. Oh yeah, bask in the warmth. He's so happy. He's gonna be so tan now. Oh, here's the other chest. Dungeon map. And this is one of the coolest rooms in the temple. You have this giant woman. All I wanna do is turn myself into a giant woman. Okay, please, for the love of God, just give me a little bit of magic. I just need a tiny bit. Please, Pots, could you please spare this boy some magic? Not a heart! Wait, it looks like the chest is floating. That looks really weird. Does it not look like the chest was floating? It still, is it floating? It totally is. I don't think it's supposed to do that. That's weird. Anyways, let's see what's inside our floating chests. Ooh, bomb refill. I'm not sure if we needed that, but I will take it. I've always wondered, Din, if she opened up her own restaurant, would she call it like Din's Diner or Din's Dinner Diner? Because it has that like, the Din in it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> even better. You know how sometimes you call dinner Din Din for babies? Well, <laughs> it could be Din's Din Din Diner. <laughs> oh, no, sometimes they call like a restaurant a Din, like D-E-N. So it could be Din's Din Din Din. <laughs> I am so stupid. All right, we got it. It just makes a chest appear. Okay, it was a key. We're gonna be able to take out this iron knuckle so easily. Ah! Wow. Jeez, he is wrecking my boobs. Please stop. Oof, man, who shines his armor? That is stuff is looking good. He went right over my head. Oh no, his clothes are starting to come off. I'm sort of into it. Now I had this random thought earlier. You know the movie Bridge to Terabithia? What if the bridge is actually named Terabithia, but whenever they were trying to name the title of the bridge, the person had a lisp, and so we called it the Brid Bridge of Terabithia. I don't know, it's just these types of things that keep me up at night. All right, normally these are the silver gauntlets, but we get a piece of heart. Aww. Yeah, I think us doing that whole entire section of the temple was a big waste of time. So what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go back to Zora's River because people told me in the comment section that I done goofed. After you make all of the frogs big in the river section, you have to pull out your ocarina again and play some sort of mini game with them or something. So we're gonna go back and do that. Please tell me all the frogs stay large. They do, they're all big boys. They all took steroids. All right, look at us, we're all huge frogs. Uh, what? I didn't mess up. How fast do you have to be? Oh my gosh, I did it. That was so hard. You have to pretty much memorize that song. We are stuffed, Ribbit. Man, they ate so many butterflies. Might as well call these Frog Spyro at this point. And it was just for a piece of heart. Dang it. Um, what else can we do? Let's go to the Great Fairy outside of Hyrule Castle. And there's also a Skulltula by Hyrule Castle that we can get to through the Song of Storms so we can get our 40th Skulltula token and we can get that prize as well. 
All right, let's see what's inside this fairy fountain. This great fairy's fountain, sorry. Can't leave off the adjective. Please bless me. That's not the best blessing. <laughs> How many of these can we hold now? 17? Doesn't hurt to have a lot of bomb shoes, I guess. Okay, so I think there's just a Skulchula down here. I don't know if there's a chest, but we do need a Skulchula to get up to 40. So, doesn't hurt to come here. I don't think I've been to this room more than like once or twice my whole entire life. It's not like one of those things you think about. All right, here's the gold Skulchula hanging out with one of the basic Chulas. Let's go ahead and grab that. Is there any chest down here? No? Oh wait. Let's bottle some of these bugs. Yay! All right, let's go ahead and collect them our Skulchula prize. All right, they're all doing some choreography together. So cute. The curse has been broken. Here's my reward. Dang it, can I stop getting pieces of heart? We have double defense. We don't need any of these pieces of heart. Ugh. Only thing I can think about doing now is bottom of the well. Ah! All right, who's ready for the creepiest dungeon of the game? <laughs> Say I. The bottom of the well. There's quite a few Skulchulas we can get down here too. There's a lot of chests in general. You know what would be great? <laughs> if we could find our Kokiri sword and not have to use these sticks anymore. I'm getting tired of it. Hopefully bottom of the well gives us something good. So starting to run out of like locations to go, surprisingly. Well, no, there's still a lot of different things we can do. <gasps> Giant's wallet. Hell yeah. I love being able to hold more rupees. Gonna be like Richie Rich in this bitchy bitch. All right, so I'm gonna try to do this without the Lens of Truth. And right now we don't have the map either. I know there's like a hole in the ground right there. I just walked around it. <laughs> you may not believe me, but it's there. There's also somewhere we can walk through the wall right here. Ooh. Is that where I wanted to come through? Or was it, or is there another place over here? Ah! Oh, here it is. Yeah, if we would have tried to go through that gate, there's a hole, like, right there. <laughs> They're trying to sabotage you. There's so many keys down here. They all lead to Skulchulas, pretty much. So there's a lot of easy chests to be able to get collecting here. <laughs> They're just all behind these invisible walls. So I'm just gonna, like, peep in at all of them. Oh, nice! I'm glad we got that after a wallet expansion. <gasps> the biggest bomb bag. I don't need these upgrades. Back here is probably my least favorite room of the whole entire bottom of the well. And it's because there's a bunch of coffins. Let's see, let's look at our map and see how many more chests are in here. One, two, three, four. Just four? Wow. Oh, dang it, I fell for it! Ah, uh, oh well. Okay, this room, you have to be really careful. I'm just gonna hug this wall for this chest. Phew. Yes! Heck yes! That is what's up. The iron boobs. Okay, so now we can do the water temple. We can get in that shiz now. Oh my gosh, can you guys stop L targeting? No! I'm so mad right now. <laughs> it's all because of that L target. You have to be really, really careful. Oh no, I didn't. Oh my Gorgonzola. Okay, can we please just make it through here this time? Uh, no! Ultimately super pissed off at this. Oh, we made it. Gotta dodge this like like that wants to eat our dick. Do we want to go for the Skulltula or no? Oh, it was just for a map. Of course it was. Of course it was. Oh, okay, I'm gonna try to go for the Skulltula without being eaten. He's coming for me. I know it. I don't want to look. I know he's getting close. I know he's super close. I see him on the edge of my screen. Oh, no! Ah! Get away! No! He got us! We were so close! No! Give me back my shit, please. Give me back my shit. Oh, we have to kill him! We have to kill him! Can we kill him with bomb shoes? Please tell me he can die with bomb shoes. Because we don't have- we only have one Deku stick left. He's immune to bomb shoes. What is this noise? Are we able to kill him with one Deku stick? Okay, please tell me this works. Oh, we're so lucky. Huh. <sighs> please give me back my shield, you bitch. Thank you. Da na na na. You got a link. <laughs> I love this. It's like the hands are just like reaching up and Link is their new item. 
I love how this is just a platform you can stand on. All right, creepiest freaking enemy in the game. He's coming for us. No, oh, hit him. Hit him. What the heck are you doing? Are you kidding me right now? Oh no, the hand got me. Ugh. Okay, Navi, you're making me really stressed out right now. Come down. What? Are you kidding me right now? Why can't I? This hand keeps on cock blocking me. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna kill myself so we can stop hearing Navi's voice, okay? I blew myself up. Okay, can we freaking kill this dude now? Wait, can I get him? Can I still get a hit in? What? That should have totally hit him. It broke my stick. Okay, I'm gonna use this hand this time. Girl, who does your nails? That's like a perfect French tip manicure with some blood red fingernail polish. Okay, come eat me. I'm on a silver platter. Bon appetit. Yeah, pedophile. Okay, he's running away. Didn't like me calling him a pedophile. Okay, please just die. Please, I only have one more stick. Please kill him. Please kill him. What? How am I gonna kill him now? We're out of sticks. Please tell me that. I really hope bomb shoes work. Didn't work against like likes. And I know both of these dudes are like big piles of flesh. Please tell me bomb shoes work because we're out of sticks. Oh no, they don't work. Can I just hold a bomb? Do bombs work? Oh my gosh, I can't tell. No, eat, eat my bomb, eat my bomb. How do I kill him? No, there's no way to kill this guy. Why do we have to get the bong upgrade? Or the bong upgrade? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome to Cuss Your Bro 420. Oh, wait. Dense fire? Is he fireproof? We're about to find out. I hope not. It looks like he is fireproof. That was kind of cool looking. He was attacking me in the middle of my thing. I don't know if we can kill him. Okay, it looks like I have to reset. <laughs> Okay, this time I use more jump attacks so we can kill him. Ugh, the way his jaw just like is gaped open like that. It makes me so uncomfortable. So there's an invisible treasure chest right here. Watch this be like the Deku Stick upgrade right here. I wouldn't have even had to go out and re-get Deku Sticks. Okay, it's just a huge rupee. I would have gotten so mad. But please be something good. Please make this temple worth it. Oh my gosh. Well, I guess we still got the iron boots. So, all wasn't lost completely. But I can't believe we just got frozen like that. That's all we got for fighting Dead Hand was to be frozen. So, I guess the next plan of action is to go back to Temple of Time and turn into Adult Link. So, I'll see you guys there. All right, time to go through super fast forward at puberty yet again. Oh, and now that I think about it, we have our Zora tunic now. So, you guys ready to see what color she is? I know I am. Three, two, one, blast off. It's red. <laughs> so it's pretty much the Goron tunic. Is this the same type of red that the Goron tunic normally is? Seems a bit brighter. Our next destination is the water temple. And there is a lot of chests in that temple too, so. We are now entering everyone's favorite temple, the water temple. It is a little bit confusing, but once you've done it a few times, you kind of get used to the layout. Like I'm, I'm pretty used to it by now. Can I hit that from here? Not quite. Be nice to get the bow. Some major things we really need are I could use the bow, the Kokiri sword, we could use the mirror shield, slingshot. I mean, we could use pretty much anything. <laughs> All right, so that's the first chest. Now we're gonna go to the room where we normally meet Ruto. I feel like it's really weird how they took the sages out of the temples. Almost like they don't even exist. I'm okay with Ruto not existing. She can get pretty annoying. I feel like she'd be the clingy type of girlfriend. The one that doesn't ever want you to go out anywhere, hang out with anybody because you have to spend every waking moment with her. Say ah. Aw, oh, who's a good boy? Say ah. Say ah. Oh, who's a good boy? Say ah. ah. Oh, they all fell for it. They were all just trying to be good clamos, but... I'm a bitch, and I killed them. Yay, a boss key. We're like sort of getting close to the end now. I feel like we're getting close to the end, but at the same time, we still have, have to beat three more dungeons, which there's still, there's still quite a few dungeons to go. But to be fair, Great Deku Tree is like halfway done, and same with Forest Temple. But he's putting his spiky button to me. Sorry, I don't like clams twerking on me. <sighs> Link's like getting a fresh breath of that stale water temple air. 
I wonder what Water Temple smells like. Maybe like a bottle of Dasani. Oh, still twerking down here? <gasps> booty, 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 booty everywhere. <laughs> booty, 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 booty in your hair. Gotta hit the dragon's crystal. Oh, what? That hitbox is tomfoolery. I think like one of the best things about the, uh, the 3DS version of this game is you can just set the iron boots as an item instead of having to pause the game every time you use them. I still have never... I, this temple is kind of annoying in general. Like it's not, like I said, it's not too bad once you like figure it out. But the reason it's so bad whenever you're playing this game not knowing what you're doing is because it requires you to like switch between your iron boots so often. And so you're just like trying, it's not like fun to like look around for things to do. Blah, 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 blah. Like I think this room right down here is the reason why so many people had so many issues with this temple. This sneaky ass little room down here, which you kind of see in the cutscene when you raise the water level, but it's still super easy to just completely overlook it. It's Nintendo's game, they can be dicks if they want to be. Just gotta shoot it right away, you can't hesitate. If you hesitate, they'll close their mouth and twerk on you before you even know it. Go all Miley Cyrus on your ass. Ended up not working. Dang, too many small keys. All of the good items are going to be like at the end of the dungeon. We won't be able to do the whole entire dungeon until we get the bow and arrow and the long shot. Whoa, you scare me, bud. But we can go fight Dark Link. It would have been really cool if he would have gotten the black tunic at this point. I'm really curious. Can we go ahead and just fight Morphin now? Oh, shoot. Or do we need the long shot to get over there? I'm not sure if we can reach without the long shot. No, you can't. You literally can't fight Morpha until you get the long shot. That sucks. I'm starting to get a little bit stressed out by the randomizer. I'm starting to run out of things to do. Oh no, we're gonna have to do the big po side quest, aren't we? If we do, I'm gonna cry. I will cry in camera. I'm not afraid to cry in camera. This temple is also another annoying temple to do without the bow and arrow. Hopefully we can get that soon. It's starting to get a bit painful. Oh, dang it! Are you kidding me? Okay, now we're about to fight Dark Link, which, guys, I hate fighting Dark Link. Well, now that I think about it, we have the Begoran Sword. I think that makes fighting Dark Link way easier. I really hope so. All right, walk up to the door, and who's waiting for us? The darkest Link of them all. All right, let's fight him. Does he have the Begoran Sword? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think he's like 10 times easier once you have the Begoran Sword. I am curious. I wonder if the double damage carries over. Or double defense. Sorry, I keep calling it double damage. That was so easy. Thank the Lord for the Begoran Sword. Mmm. -hmm. The prize better be worth it. I have a feeling it's not going to be, but I hope it is. Watch, this give me the compass. I'm already calling it. Wow. <laughs> Kill me, please. <laughs> please, just end me already. There's like two more chests left in the dungeon. I'm sure th the one with an item is going to be the one we can't get because we need the long shot to get to it. Oh, no. We're not going to be able to get this chest either because we can't shoot the eyeball to get through the door. Please stop, sir. No, not like this. Not like this. Well, I don't think we can even get the chest anyways. Water Temple ended up being a fluke for the most part. Stop. Have a time. You can't touch this. I just not realized the Water Temple is just a gigantic mound of mud. Whoever the architect on that thing was did not really care that much about the exterior. It's so sad. I had so much promise. Oh, what's up, Tektite? I'm gonna stab you in the eye. Let's do some crouch stabs. It's not working very well. <laughs> that was very inefficient. So since we can't really progress in any of the dungeons in the game until we get either the bow, let's see, the bow or the slingshot or the silver gauntlets. Those are the three main items we need to be able to progress in this game. So we're just going to start searching around Hyrule for items that are useful to us. The first thing we're going to do is since we have the iron boots, we can get a heart piece in the laboratory. This is like an alien looking blooper. Oh, look at the shark, like the most low polygon model in this whole entire game. Like look at the edges, they're like stair steps. <laughs> That's how low polygon this thing is. What we're going to do is we're going to shoot this crate with our long shot or hook shot before it hits. We're gonna take off the iron boots. Oh my gosh, we swam to the bottom of the pool. No way, we're so good. We did it without the golden scale. 
Bravissimo. 10 out of 10. All right. So hopefully we can get something good. He said you touched the bottom. Ooh! Look at that! Double magic! Alright, so we're gonna go to Death Mountain Crater next. Since we planted those beans as Kid Link, we can ride it up to the heart piece. Oh yes, the heart piece! That's what we were all hoping for. Okay, so we're just going to take the shortcut. Wait, did I ever open up the way into Goron City from here? I don't think I did. I don't think I've used this entrance yet. Oh, I never pulled it out, but it still lets you go through. Link just squeezed through that tiny-ass crack. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Link. That was probably really painful. I think we can mostly get all of the overworld items and chests in this game now. Come on! Please! I don't want a blue rupee. Hello, little guy. How are you inside that rock? How does that even work? I have no idea. Okay, how many Skullshiller tokens is that? We're at 47. Oh, we're almost there, guys. Alright, next we're gonna head to the Kokiri Forest. Okay, so the item we're gonna get in Kokiri Forest is honestly a grotto I didn't even know about until I started playing Zooter. I might have found this at some point in my life. I mean, I've played this game way too much. Oh, oh my gosh! Come on! Alright, so our next destination is a grotto we've been to before, um, but we couldn't do anything there because we didn't have the iron boots. I love how there's just one lone Tektite. He's probably so lonely. A red rupee! We don't need rupees! We have a full 500! Now that I checked this, we're gonna warp to the Desert Colossus and get the heart piece that's there. We have to be very quick about jumping off though because you can easily miss it. And yet again, it's not worth it. We have so many bomb shoes. We don't need this many bomb shoes. How many do we have now? 34. Nobody needs 34 bomb shoes. Oh. <sighs> We've done so much, and yet we're still getting nothing. I guess the next thing we can do is we can go back to Death Mountain. I think if we take the Broken Big Goron Sword to the Goron on top of the mountain, I think he gives us an item, so let's find out. We got our Broken Sword. Aw, oh, look at his eyes. They're all agitated. Just itching them. Poor guy. Having your eyes irritated is the worst feeling. Oh, I have to do the whole eye drop situation. Oh my god, we have to do the whole entire Big Goron side quest to get this item. So either right now, I can do the Big Goron side quest, or we can go get Epona and go to the Gerudo Valley. I'm pretty sure there's a Skulltula back here that we can get, and since we're so close to 50, I am really banking on getting something good from 50 Skulltula tokens. If we get something small for collecting 50 Skulltulas, I'm gonna be so mad, because I don't think we got anything good for 20, 30, or 40 Skulltula tokens. So... Like, this is gonna be like 10 times worse than the situation where Dead Hand froze me with his chest. Good morning, campers! Welcome to Camp Lon Lon! Today on the agenda, we have horseback riding! I'm just gonna call you eyebrows. Wow. I think. I think I'm in love. Oh, okay, gotta snap out of it. Oh, what's up with that horse? Is that Epona? How did you tame that? Girl, Man, I wish my eyebrows were at a 45 degree angle. That is so acute. All right, so now that we have Epona, we are going to jump over this wall and we got our beautiful steed. Okay, so there is another treasure chest behind these rocks over here. Oh, there's also a Skulltula. I nearly forgot. Come on! Jeez! Wait a moment, I'm pretty sure one of these rocks is covering something. Let's find out. No, not that one. Maybe it's the one <laughs> completely circled by rocks. It's usually a good indicator that it's hiding something. What? Do I gotta like play Song of Storms or something? No, that's not it. Oh, it was a bomb, which you can also use the Mega Ten, Mega Ten Hammer for. Oh wow, there's a lot of cobwebs down here. Ugh. So there's a cow. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Oh, there's also a Skulltula. Doesn't seem like there's a treasure chest, though. First things first, we're gonna check out the Ice Cavern. Because somebody said I missed a chest in here. But did I really? No, I didn't. There's no treasure chest here that I didn't get. What a liar. Oh my gosh, I just realized we have 50 Skulltula tokens. Let's sink to the bottom of Zora's Fountain because there is yet another heart piece. I think you can still get to the bottom and back up to the top again without drowning. At least, thankfully, Ocarina of Time doesn't have a sound effect like Sonic Adventure 2 has. Another piece of heart. This game is not being very nice to us right now. All right, we've made it to Kakariko Village. Now, moment of truth. 
Was the 50 Skulltula tokens worth it? Now we haven't gotten anything good for any of the other Skulltula token prizes. Well, for 10 we got the Stone of Agony, which isn't very helpful. Then we got like a blue rupee, I think, a heart piece, and another blue rupee. It really sucked. So hopefully, the 50 gold Skulltula prize is going to make everything worth it. If not, every single gold Skulltula we've collected in this playthrough will have been for nothing. So it's time for the moment of truth. The curse has been broken, thank you. Here's a reward for you. I had to let that out. I'm sorry for anybody's eardrums, but that is pretty upsetting. I cannot lie. What are we gonna do? There's like nothing else we can do in this world. Well, I guess. Oh, hello, Josh. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I'm fine. I just want to make sure. I just want to check on you. Just want to make sure you're all right. I think I'm okay. I'm not entirely sure. Can you maybe call a therapist for me? <laughs> I need it. I really need it. I'm just trying to ignore it. <laughs> there's so much pain right now. Well, there's not much we can do, so we're gonna go play the fishing mini game as an adult because I completely forgot that you can do it as an adult with the Scarecrow song. Well, maybe. I think we can reach the Scarecrow because I honestly don't really know what else we can do right now. We can't beat any other temple with the items we have currently. Well, there's also one more treasure chest I forgot to get inside. Water temple. Let's go ahead and just collect it since we're here. Okay, so this is the chest that we missed. Now, normally I wouldn't come all the way like halfway through a temple again to get a chest, but what if this is the chest that we need? <laughs> because there's still some really big items that we have not collected yet. Okay, please be something useful. No! I don't need more bombs! Game! Stop giving me such useless crap! Oh my gosh! Because one of the problems is, we can't go to the Gerudo Fortress until we have the bow and arrow. I literally got hundreds of comments getting mad at me for pronouncing it as Gerudo instead of Gerudo. And honestly, I don't care too much. Personally, I feel like Ocarina of Time has so many words that people pronounce differently that it doesn't really even matter at this point. Like some people pronounce it Ocarina, some Ocarina, some as Deku, some Deku, some call it... I think some call Navi Navy. <laughs> I think that's weird. <laughs> Navy. Well, I don't think anybody actually does that. It's like the clothing brand, Old Navy. All right, let's play our wonderful Scarecrow song. One of my favorites. And let's see if we can reach him. Oh yeah, we can definitely reach him. Oh, I grabbed onto his hip bone. I'm not sure if Scarecrows have hips, but I totally grabbed his hip. How come it looks like his hat is cracking? It's literally getting so old that it started to crack on top of his head. This guy, like 100%, looks like he could be a porn producer, though. <laughs> so, if I'm not mistaken, this mod was patched to where you only need to catch a 10-pound fish instead of a 30-pound fish, which I'm pretty sure that's the original requirement. All right, come here, fishy fish. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Uh, 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 uh. Oh my gosh, you're right there, Link. Just grab it. <laughs> you you have... The, there we go. Dang, that thing is almost as big as Link is. A real lunker. 10 pounds. Yes, I do want to keep it. I'm pretty sure that's all we need. I hope. Because I do not want to have to play this fishing mini game for 7,000 hours. Whoa! <sighs> Guys. We are getting... We're running out of places to check. Oh, we're trying to steal his fishing rod. Okay, I'm actually mad at you, sir. So I'm going to try to catch your hat. Hey, I got it. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Okay, guys. My next idea, which we're really starting to run low on ideas, is let's do the Bigoron side quests. 
What other options do we have? Pretty much nothing at this point. All right, so we got this prescription from the Big Goron to give to King Zora. Now, I don't think this item will be randomized. I think it's gonna give us the eyeball frog. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what it gives us. Oh, this is, well, hmm, eye drops. You might say we have them. We might say we don't. We do have the ingredients. If you take the ingredients, okay. It's probably gonna give us the ingredient. And then it does spoil, so we gotta be quick. For those wondering, you were not able to use teleport songs when doing these side quests, or else the things immediately spoil. You have to run the long way. Yeah, it sucks. The game doesn't allow you to cheat. They know what you want to do. Wow, Epona. No, don't do this to me. All right, time to get our beautiful eye drops. I need to like change my tier list that I made in the first episode. I'm going to. I'm going to put Eyeball Frog in S tier because everyone loves Eyeball Frog. He's the best. Oh, look at these eye drops. They honestly look more like an expensive perfume. Like something that my mom would have used whenever I was a kid. My cat, I can't get off Epona. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't get off. Oh, okay. For a second, it was like either letting me press faster or check the sign. I'm like, I don't want to do either of those. I just want to get off my horse. I just want to get off my hoe. Okay, we're making it just in time. At first, I wasn't quite sure if I'd make it, but we have made it, sir. I have your eye drops and they're about to expire. Put them in your eyeball, hurry. Wow, this is stimulating. Oh, that's TMI. It's working great. All right, now he can fix our blade. Wait, it takes a few days. After, oh, I totally forgot about that. Ugh, okay. One second, let me play Sun Song six times. Jesus Christ. Okay. Please don't, please don't break me, Goron. You, you hold your heart. <gasps> uh, I mean, yes, that's good. But at the same time, we can't do anything with it. But seriously? Seriously. There's only a couple more things I can think of doing. One of the things is there is the Happy Mask trading side quest in Hyrule Market. So I think there's two items we can get from doing that. And then if we don't get anything good from those two items, I'm literally at a loss. I can't think of anything else we can do. Yeah, how do I start this side quest? For some reason, I don't remember how to start this side quest. What the hell, dude? All right, so I had to look it up because I totally forgot. But the way to start the mask side quest is by giving this guard Zelda's letter. Because it is this guard that wants the Pikachu mask or... <laughs> Thank you for reopening the gate. <laughs> All right, that was hilarious, honestly. All right, happy mask salesman. All right, so he starts off by giving us the, is it called the cafe mask? Yeah, oh, Keaton mask, not cafe. Cafe is the name of that blue haired child in Majora's mask. So we have to go back to that garden Kakarika village and give him this mask. All right, so we have the mask for this guy. He wants to give it to his son. <laughs> do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? I don't know why, but I think it's really cute that this guard calls Link Mr. Hero. Doesn't realize that it's actually our job to save the entirety of Hyrule, but it's okay. We'll let him live in his disgusting pool of ignorance. All right, so for doing that, we received a income of five rupees, so worth it. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Um, now we're gonna do the school mask. And this is what's going to get us the next item. That is, fingers crossed, going to be the bow and arrow. We are back in the Lost Woods. Haven't been here for a while, <laughs> I feel. Oh, come on, where is it? Having difficulty finding the grotto again. There it is. So if we put on the school mask, all of these Deku scrubs are gonna think we're a school kid. Huh? About to get fooled, hoes. <laughs> I love the sound effects. What? What? They love me! Oh my god, I'm so famous! Look at me go! <laughs> Woo, that's what I'm talking about! Do we not get anything? Abracadabra! Alakazam! No! You stay complaining, you stay crying, you stay whining, ho! What you need? A pat on the back, bit? Or do you need some candy in a pet bit? Why? Do I not even have 13 hearts yet? I feel like I've gotten 20 heart containers since my last heart. We're at three. What we're going to do 
is we're going to be heading to the Gerudo Fortress. So yeah, let's go out of this creepy market. I'm not about these Rededs. I know some people have, like, PTSD from seeing Rededs, and I'm right there with you. These things are creepy. Let's call upon our noble steed, Emona. <laughs> I'm not sure why I have to add Moan to everything. Just one of my quirks, I guess. All right, we're in the Gerudo Fortress, and first thing we're going to do is... I guess we don't need to get caught. I was gonna say, we could get caught by the Gerudos, but we can just sneak past this first one. Okay, she turned her back. Run for it. Okay, and I should also probably put on my big Goron sword so this would go by way more quickly. Although, it is a bit of a risk doing this because then we can't use our shields. And this Gerudos have that attack that they can instantly make you submissive and they'll throw you in jail. All right, what's up, the first gay carpenter? <laughs> I have determined that all of these carpenters are gay. Okay, this is uh, this might actually be harder to do with the big Goron sword. Oh wait, we can nut on them. I, I forgot about the nutting. Well, maybe these girls don't like to be nutted on. All right, tornado spin, nut on her, and then finish her, yeah. All right, we killed her, and coincidentally, the impact of us killing her made the key fly off of her body. So that works out in our favor. Fortunately, all of these females have very, very bad peripheral vision. Wait, get her, get her, get her. Dang it! She found me. Oh, damn. She just fell off that ledge. All right, this time, I think I'm going to just wait until her back is turning and just run in. Go, 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 go. Don't let her notice you. Whew, that was very close. She was turning around. This is the second carpenter. There is four of these, for those of you who may not know. We have to save all four carpenters. I love this dude's afro. All right, here's the third one. What kind of hairstyle does he have? Oh, uh, he does not look very healthy. He looks like he's very, very dehydrated. There's that chest right up there. I'm wondering if we can reach it without the long shot. Yeah, we definitely need the long shot to reach the chest, but pretty sure the Scarecrow song is going to come in hella clutch right now. Oh no, it doesn't reach. Can I make this jump with the hover boots? Come on, let me get this chest. Just give me give me something for once. Oh, we did make it. Pierre, you were useless. Fuck you. Okie dokie. <laughs> I might go mad. Okay, right here, I have to be really careful. If you just jump out into the hallway, this girl will find you. Did not mean to. Oh, that scared me for some reason. I literally just jumped. Damn it. Okay, this time let's not hit the crate. Let's let's shoot the woman this time. There we go. And then we'll just Chris Lysa. <laughs> Girl bye. Alright. Time for the fourth hoe. Let's go. And also, for those of you who might be like mad saying that I'm misogynistic for calling the woman a hoe, I call everything a hoe. Anyways, we have finished the Gerudo Fortress. We have befriended all of the women. Now they will not throw us into jail. Okay, something we can do now. There's a few things we can do now that we've finished the Gerudo Fortress. One, we're able to go inside the desert. There's one chest over here. We're able to play the Horseback Archery mini game, which has two prizes, so there's two more items we can get there. And then we can also start the Gerudo Training Grounds, which has a lot of chests in it. I'm not sure how many of those chests we can get, though, since we don't have the bow, or the Silver Gauntlets, or the Lens of Truth. But, you know, we'll try our best. But let's start off by going here. Normally, you have to follow a ghost through the second half. But if you know the path, you can traverse it backwards and get here without beating the Gerudo Fortress. But I just went ahead with the Gerudo Fortress because I needed to do that anyways. Another Skulltula. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep on collecting Skulltula tokens. Not because I need them, just because it really bothers me not killing the Skulltulas if I see them on my screen. I'll probably go ahead and just keep on collecting them to see how many we can get by the end of this run. Oh, there it is. It's behind us. Weird. Please be something good. Please, 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 please. No! I'm upset. I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset. Louder! I'm upset! Say it louder! I'm upset! <laughs> I'm so upset. Okay, looks like we're going to the Gerudo training grounds then. Okay, so I'm not sure how much we can accomplish while we're in here. But we'll get as much done as we possibly can. Okay, good, good. Here's probably the first of many heartbreaks. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. Oh. I think, 
there is a God. <laughs> there is a God. <laughs> He's watching over me right now. I've always wanted to do this. Oh, that's never felt so good. Guys, this literally opens up like the rest of the game for us. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, guys. Oh, <laughs> I feel like the happiest boy in the world right now. Can we get? Can we be on a winning streak right now? Okay, it's just a key. I'm pretty sure there. Oh, that gave us two chests. Nice. I will take it. And we're just getting keys. It's all good. You know, let's, let's keep on playing through this. It's starting to make me scared. Hey, attack me. Stop just evading me this whole time. Stop! My timer's running out. Sir! Oh my gosh. Die. You fuck. Jeez. He was just trying to let that timer run out. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it in his face. He was just wanting me to die. Oh, look, my favorite item. I still can't get over the fact that we got the bow. I'm just I'm so happy, guys. <laughs> I wish you could see my face. It just has, like, the biggest smile on it. But yeah, I was getting legitimately scared. I'm like, there's so many people watching this series right now. The last thing I want is for this seed to end up being, like, the one possible dud where you can't progress. Because this was legitimately pretty much the last area. Like, these last, like, five or six chests were getting in the Geruda training grounds. If we hadn't got something good at one of these chests... I'm not sure if we could have progressed without doing some sort of glitches in the game. Okay, first off, we're gonna go for this silver rupee over here before the fire comes back. Oh, hello. And apparently the keys, like whenever the keys are set out as a separate item, they are mixed into the randomizer. There we go, piece of heart. Do we get a chest for this? We just open a door. Okay, fine, we'll go through the door. Yes, recovery hearts. Every other chest inside this dungeon is Giving us really bad items, but I don't even care because we have the bow and arrow and that's all I care about. Alright, lion, eat me whole and call me daddy. Wait, what? <laughs> what am I, I don't know what I'm saying, guys. Um, <laughs> Josh is like in the room putting his shoes on and he just looked at me when I said that. Okay, there's one more chest over here. Is it going to be worth all of the effort we put into doing all of these other rooms of the Gerudo training grounds? Oh, we got another key. Which means we can get to the next chest. Another one. Nope. A red rupee. Before we leave the Gerudo training grounds, there's a couple more chests that we're able to get. First one is one that's really hidden. Normally you find it with the lens of truth, but this little bit of ceiling right here doesn't actually exist. I know, it makes so much sense. I wonder how to get over there. And then if you've played this game enough, you'd be like, oh yeah, lens of truth. There's a bunch of... Oh, that was definitely worth it. <laughs> Glad we came up here. A couple episodes ago, I had a comment question asking you guys to come up with some of the best acronyms for Zooter. And here were some of my favorites. Zoinks! Ostriches ought to reproduce. I agree. They should, because I love ostriches and I want more of them in the world. Zoos only offer tiny refreshments. Oh, that's actually kind of adorable. <laughs> Zelda's Ocarina obviously tremendously rules. Obviously, tremendously, guys. Zachary only orders Taiwanese rectums. What? <laughs> should I be worried? <laughs> you should not microwave children. Wait, what? That's not an acronym. Wrong acronyms are a meme. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Naboru lives in the forest temple. Too true. Too true. Zany opioid owners take responsibility. Good, it's about time to take re responsibility for their actions. Rachel, stop zooming in on the lamp. Rachel, come on. Zoom on other things, Rachel. <laughs> Zeus ought to obliterate them rice fields. No, but think about the Asians. Now, right here, we're in a really weird position. We can't push this block because we still do not have the silver gauntlets, and it's a heavy boy. And then this door right here is one of those wobbly trick doors. <laughs> which I freaking love. Now, this is gonna be kinda hard to do without the lens of truth, but there's an invisible hookshot target inside this wall. I'm gonna see if I can hit it. Oh, dang, first try. All right, was it worth coming through the rest of this training grounds? We're about to find out. Oh, <laughs> it's just a small key. So, we are gonna have to come back here later. 
Oh well, we get quite a bit. We still got the fairy bow inside the training grounds, so I'm honestly not gonna complain. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna head over to Kakariko Village real fast so we can play the archery mini game there. So let's just meet you guys over there. All right, let's G T F O. And now that we have the bow, let's go ahead and do that archery mini game. It's one of my favorite mini games. Yo, Oliver, shut up. The cat in the background is being so annoying right now. What do you, wait, what do you want? Okay, so now this lady right here is willing to speak to us. She came from the depths of her chambers. So we can win two prizes from doing this archery mini game. Okay, we're almost there. I'm just about to get this first prize. The hard thing about this is also you have a limited amount of arrows. So you have to be a little bit frugal. All right, that's the first prize. Not too hard. Fantastic, you are the ultimate master. <laughs> That's right, bitches. I'm the ultimate master. You heard her. Bow down, hoes. <laughs> Deku stick upgrade. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> All right, we got this. Come on, can we do it first try? I'm really feeling it. There's all the pots. Let's get a couple 100s in. Oh, I just got one. It's okay, though. Let's get... No, I need 100. What? That totally hit the archery thing. Should have at least given me 30 points. Come on. Okay, that was a really bad shot. So was that. Oof. Not looking too hot right now for us. I have to get... Oh, come on. We are so close. But, ran out of arrows. Okay, if I can get two 100s on this, we're good. Oh, whew, we did it. Third try, that's not too bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> also, look at the rupee count. Blaze it, motherfuckers. Oh. They're all together. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, the carpenter's voices are beautiful. It looks like this guy tried to do the Kylie Jenner lip challenge and it went wrong. Well, it looks like it worked, but <laughs> I don't think it looks that great. Wait, <gasps> wait. Our next destination is going to be Le Forest Temple. Okay, guys, we are back here in the Forest Temple. Um, we already did the first half of this temple. We went as far as we possibly could without the bow. And that means we don't have to do this block puzzle. That's already done for us. So that's pretty handy dandy notebook. Watch this be like the silver gauntlets or something. Like something really important. Uh, no heart piece. One of my favorite comments I've gotten is somebody said that Zooter sounds like the name of a 70 year old hooker. <laughs> and I can kind of agree. <laughs> Don't grab on me. No! He's sucking away my life! Woo! <gasps> Get off of me, you nasty fuck! Hate these things. He like sucks them away enough of my blood to reform his whole entire body. That's kind of gross. Link's probably about to pass out now. There we go. <gasps> Yes! Mother freaking yes! This is a good day. Now we can finally finish the Deku tree. And we can also do that target shooting thing in Lost Woods. There's a couple more things we can do. Hells to the yes. I think these curved corridors just give this temple like the best aesthetic feeling. Just so unique. This game is just so ahead of its time. <laughs> For some reason, the ghost gets excited when you net on him and makes himself visible. <laughs> you were just another bitch on the hit list. And we also get treasure chests from these as well. Now, normally this temple, well this temple still does, has a lot of keys. It's kind of like a shock, cause- <gasps> Holy crap! Are you kidding me? Damn, Forest Temple was loaded this whole time! But we just couldn't do anything because we didn't have the bow and arrow. All right, long shot. That means we can entirely finish the water temple now too. Man, I am becoming a really happy toucan. I know, I look for Navi. I'm gonna cut off your wings and then hot glue them to your body upside down. So every time you try to fly up, you fly down and hit your head on the ground and get a concussion. Am I taking this too far? <laughs> I was actually thinking about this the other day, but I was thinking if you explain Zelda, in a certain way, you can make this sounds like the most wimpy ass girly game in the whole entire world. 
Like, if you said this game was about a kid who wears a skirt, who loves to collect fairies and is trying to save a princess, he really loves to ride ponies, he plays an ocarina, <laughs> you he fights giant flowers and bushes that are trying to attack him, you can make this game sound wimpy AF. But then at the same time, you could also make it sound really epic if you were like, yeah, this game's about a fearless man who likes to travel across the world fighting monsters, crawling through dungeons to save the kingdom. He fights a giant monster with severed hands, dragons, giant phantom ghosts. It all, it all comes down to your perspective. You look so perfect, hang in there, in your American apparel underwear. Yes, I'm falling in love with a sculpture, guys. What is this guy doing? He looks like he's beatboxing. <laughs> Damn, that was impressive. Too bad I gotta kill you to progress the game. All right, Phantom Ganon, let's go. Gonna have to try to do some concise shooting with our bow. One of the coolest Zelda boss fights ever, in my opinion. Oh, time. wait, let's, let's do this the fun way. Let's pull out our empty bottle. Scoop, <laughs> scoop, scoop diddy, poop diddy, shoop. There we go. All right, heart container, what do you have? You are still a heart container. He was sure of himself. He was a confident heart container. The Zora Sapphire. Oh, I guess it doesn't hurt to get the Zora Sapphire because now if we get the Kokiri Emeralds. Oh, look at the little cute guy. Hey. Um, now that we have the slingshot, let's go ahead and turn into a kid and go back and fight Goma real fast too. She do the treasure chest game. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess on it real fast. I'll give it three shots. So obviously all of the chests in this mini game are not randomized. Just the last one. All right, I'm gonna start with bottom. I got a good feeling. Damn it, loser. Where is it? I'm gonna go bottom again, <laughs> because why not? Dang it! Now I feel like going for the top one next time, but I'm sure if we go for the top one next time, it's gonna end up being the incorrect one. It is gonna be the bottom one next time. So should I stick with my gut feeling about it being the bottom one? Let's, I'm gonna go with top. It's been pretty consistently top. Okay. Good thing we went with top that time. <laughs> I'm gonna go with top again. That sloppy toppy. Damn it! All right, I gave it three shots. This game is not very much fun to do without the Lens of Truth. It's kind of weird going and finishing the Deku Tree like this late into an Ocarina of Time series. So this is the eye switch that we needed the slingshot for. <laughs> this was the one door that was holding us back the whole time. It's actually just... Super coincidental that it's there for the Zuda randomizer. Do you guys think Goma's gonna kill me? I, I think I think she might. We don't have very many hearts. Forget all the really annoying Navi <laughs> cutscenes were cut out. Like her telling you how to open doors and climb vines and push blocks. I mean, it makes sense why she did that because this was the first three-dimensional game and people in general are just kind of stupid. All right, does everybody remember the riddle? 23 is number one. Don't forget it. It's the only way to beat this room. All right, in the moment everybody's been waiting for. <laughs> Gomer. We don't need the slingshot. Can you use the boomerang on, Go on Goma, I wonder? Because normally it'd be impossible to fight Goma. Go Goma. Why do I keep calling her Goma? Let's see if it affects her. No, it doesn't. A couple Deku stick stuff. Oh, no. Pull out the Deku stick. Dang it. Missed my chance. I'm going to give birth above your head. <laughs> and then we just attack her while she's giving birth. It's pretty brutal, but, you know, we do what we can. So I wonder, was Goma hiding some crazy good item this whole entire time with her heart container? <gasps> there we go. Holy crap. I can't believe Goma was hiding this from us the whole entire time. At least now we don't have to do Shadow Temple without the Lens of Truth. I mean, we already did Bottom of the Well, but, yeah, whatever. I only fell in invisible pits like 10 times. Light Medallion, no! <laughs> That's like the one thing that wouldn't have done anything. All right, guys, I have the perfect idea. So in order to get in front of all of these people, we're gonna slowly drop in front of all of them and get whatever the shopkeeper has to sell. Like, what do you guys think this dude is selling that has so many... It looks like they're all women. 
All of the women in Hyrule Market are interested in something being sold at the shop, and we need to get down to business and figure out what it is. Oh, dang it. My plan failed. After beating Goma, we got the Lens of Truth, baby. So we can now do the treasure chest mini game. Our right, but we'll still like guess what treasure chest it could be. I'm gonna guess top. A hey, would have gotten that one right. One for one, baby. Um, down. Oh, see, we would have lost right here. Now I wonder if there was something good hidden back here this whole entire time. Cause technically we could, if we would have guessed, if we had perseverance, we could have come and got this item at any point. Would it have been worth it? The answer it. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually hilarious. <laughs> okay. So, the answer is definitely yes. That would have been so worth it, man. Anyways, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the water temple and finish that up. So, I'll see you guys there. Alright, we are back in the water temple. Um, I really wish past me would have put a Furore's Wind cast in this room so I didn't have to go all the way through the water temple again. But, you know... I forget to do these things sometimes. It's okay. Now, we weren't originally able to hit that ice switch. Ooh, get in there. But now, since we have the bow and arrow, Zooter graced us with the bow and arrow. We are able to get further. Now, we got the Deku Seed Bullet Bag. That is the uh, upgrade for our slingshot. Now, if we would have gotten this chest originally, if we had the bow and arrow, this chest would have given us the slingshot. But, of course, the one... Chest like we couldn't get to in the water temple was the one that was blocked off to us. Okay, so I don't think there's very many chests of any chests left in this temple. Okay, so, oh, there's two chests. That's right. So we're going to quickly shoot the ice switch. <laughs> that could mean I switch. That could mean ice switch. Or it could mean off switch. I mean, you never know. The last one's a bit more brutal. <laughs> All right, let's push this block out of the way, and we have another chest hidden behind. I don't even have to push it all the way. Another key. What? All right, Morpha. So I'm going to try to do this the quick way and corner him. All right, what's he doing now? Ooh. How That, like, went through him. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's corner him. No, don't go that way. Come back. Dang it. Okay, corner him. Corner him. Corner him. Yes, yes, corner. Get in that corner, bitch. Ugh. At least we got two hits. What are we going to get from this heart container? Yes! Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Please, please, please give me the water medallion. Either that or the Kokiri Emerald. Kokiri Emerald, sweet. Now we can get the Ocarina of Time. Okay, what is Fire Arrows holding for us? That is the opposite of what I was expecting. Oh, I just realized something. Okay, so first off, we're gonna have to go and turn into a child. All right, so I had to turn back into a wee lad, a wee little chap, Um, because you have to be a kid to activate the cutscene. But it's weird seeing how happy Hyrule Market is amongst all of the actual like craziness that is happening outside of the castle. Even the drawbridge is put down. It's not realistic, but because it's not there, we just fall into the moat. I love it, but. Then activate the cussing, have to go back around. <laughs> it's getting all cloudy. <laughs> the doom and gloom up in his room. It's gonna get instantly. Magic Ocarina of Time. And that's as far as that parody goes. All right, so that was the short version of that cutscene. And now we're finally gonna get the Ocarina of Time, which a lot of people thought the Song of Time on the track list was the Ocarina of Time, but no, that represents the Song of Time. Please, please, please give us the Nocturne of Shadow so we can go in the Shadow Temple. Because if you don't, I'm honestly unsure if there's anything left for us to do now. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything else we can do if we don't get the Nocturne of Shadow. Thank God. I'm pretty sure the remaining chests in this game are all in the Shadow Temple. Well, there is some other things that we could do if we had, say, the Silver Gauntlets. But I think apart from the Silver Gauntlets, the stuff we can get from that, the Shadow Temple was our only option. Wow. Can you believe that we've made it this far into the randomizer? Yet we still have not collected the very first item you get in this game, which is the Kokiri Sword. That's pretty insane. We have almost everything else, though. I wonder, is the Slingshot minigame in the Lost Woods the thing? <laughs> That's been hiding the Kokiri sword from us this whole entire time. President Bush, are you going to be giving us a Kokiri sword? Fingers crossed. Cool, you're great. You scored three perfect bullseyes. Oh, yeah. 
I'm the best marksman ever. Okay, so that's not what we get. We actually... Okay, like, let's just act like that didn't even happen. We are finally going to be starting the Shadow Temple, brought to you by Shadow the Hedgehog. He actually built the temple himself from scratch. He laid every single brick by hand. He put a lot of work into it, guys, and you should honestly respect respect it. I always thought <laughs> the light medallion, whenever you warp to it, it kind of looks like a weird face. <laughs> <laughs> you just does anybody want to be this guy's friend anybody come on guys somebody has to be his friend you're also judgmental put your hands in the air put your hands up in the air oh put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care nah wave them like you just don't care Woo! okay please don't freeze me this time you were so rude last time <laughs> please be a bit more kinder on my gentle soul i don't know how much i can take <laughs> bombs Yas? All right, little chest. What do you have inside of your body? Hmm. Disappointing. I'm very disappointed. You have not been eating well. Man, that thing is very s noisy. Holy crap! <laughs> These faces look like they're being held up with their hands. You know when like you're kind of like looking at somebody and you're like falling in love and you put your like hands underneath your chin to prop it up and you're just like being happy and stuff. That's what these wall faces look like. Does anybody else remember the I'm an Owl? Ah, the classics. <laughs> Do I just have to kill all the keys in here? Is just one of those rooms? Is there some sort of maybe thermostat in the room that measures the body temperature or the body heat so whenever there's like less enemies it's like oh the temperature has gone down by 0.2 degrees so all of the enemies must be dead oh there's a skull to the back here you actually get a pretty hefty reward for completing this room for killing a like like in a couple keys we have this chest and there's there's an invisible one right next to it another heart piece we're up to 16 hearts so now we can have our sweet 16 time to blow up a hoe Actually, no, this guy isn't a hoe. I only use hoe for it as a term of endearment. See that guy looking at me? He's looking straight at me. He's like, please, sir, don't do it. I have a family. I have kids that depend on me. I have a wife that I love so dearly. Please don't. And here I am. Ants. Yes. Thank you. Is it just me, or do spike traps look like really evil Roombas? If that's the case, at least the floor is staying clean inside the Shadow Temple. See, I love the artwork for Ocarina of Time, because it makes the enemies look so much more epic than they do in the game, just because of the graphical limitations at the time. Like, Lizafuls look so much cooler in their artwork. Like, Iron Knuckles, Skulltulas look really awesome. I think Redeads look somewhat creepier in the game than they do on the artwork. So the one item we desperately do need to find, and I hope we find it soon, is the silver gauntlets, because without those, we're not able to do the spirit temple, and we're gonna have to do it. We have to do every temple in this game, because we still need the water medallions and spirit medallions to progress. We're about to fight Bongo Bongo, which I think is the best boss of this whole entire game. I need arrows, I'm out. Wait, how do I get arrows? I saw some on the ground earlier, but I don't know how they got there. Can a bitch use the hookshot? <laughs> oh, the hookshot does work. Oh, now he's gonna slap me. Damn it. This is much more difficult to do with the hookshot, because then it freezes you in place if you miss. And you're more likely to miss, because the hookshot's dumb. Okay. Get him. There we go. Okay, I'm just gonna grab these arrows real fast. Damn it. This is not going very well. <laughs> Can I use the hookshot for this part? Yes, good. And this should kill him. There we go. Also, his eye socket looks so nasty. How it's like, it looks like a flower kind of, but <laughs> way nastier. I think what we're about to get is the compass. If not, then I missed the chest in the shadow temple. 
it is the compass. Now I can check to see if I did miss any treasure chests. Nope. Okay, so that means that the silver gauntlets are behind one of two things. Ruto's bottle, that's in Lake Hylia, or behind the big Poseid quest. Oh, I just shuddered thinking about that. Are we gonna have to do it? We probably are. Oh, something I didn't think about is now that we have the spirit medallion, we're about to get the light arrows once we go to the Temple of Time. All right, what are the light arrows? Give us something good. Big money, big money, no whammies. No whammies! Damn it! <laughs> it was a whammy! All right, we're back in Lake Hylia. We have the silver scale. And honestly, I am really surprised that we didn't get anything else in the Shadow Temple apart from the silver scale. There were so many chests in there. Some, for some reason, I sometimes have trouble getting this bottle. I don't know why. Can I get a first try? Of course not. Just grab the bottle, Link. Grab it. Thank you. Navi, get out of my screen. You're too bright. Woo! Boy, there they were the whole entire time. We now have some silver gaunties. Can I shorten the word gauntlet to gaunty? No. <laughs> okay. But now that we have the silver gaunties, that allows us to do two things. We're going to go to the Gerudo training grounds. And there's a few more chests we can get in there now that we can push the big block. That was in the room where we fight the wolfos. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back with some silver gauntlets, baby. Do you guys remember this room? You should. It's the room where I read out my Zooter acronyms. <laughs> All right, Link, you push that block. Put your back into it, and your pussy, and your crack. Okay, so this room has four chests, if I remember correctly. This is just full of them. It's probably going to be mostly keys, though, because we are in the Gerudo training grounds. And you know how much the Gerudos love their keys and their training grounds. Ice arrows! Okay, you normally do get the ice arrows as your main prize for finishing the Gerudo training grounds. I can't, I've said the word Gerudo training grounds way too many times. So I guess the ice arrows just, like, walk down the hall and put themselves in that chest instead. Heart container? Okay. 17 hearts. We're almost there. And, oh, come on. Last but not least, another key. All right, now we can use these keys to open up the remaining locked doors. I mean, there's so much opportunity. If we play through it a second time, just the way we did now, it will be a completely different experience. And then there's other variables you can change. <laughs> More keys, okay. Okay, so I think we have officially cleaned out the training grounds. So let's go ahead and exit. So little known fact, if you kill a lot of levers, you have this daddy lever come out or mommy. I can't really tell the difference. Bye. Thing looks nasty. Oh, look at this guy. Look at those, look at those snarled lips. He's like, eh. can you see me down here? Now, ooh, I never realized how pretty of an eye Bemos had. Ooh, look at that, so sexy. <laughs> oh. A wolf goes, a puppy. Oh, okay. The puppy fell. That was the easiest fight of my life. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so a couple episodes ago, I had a comment question that said, maybe we should replace Navi's dialogue in the randomizer with random jokes. That way, whenever Navi talks, it's not completely useless garbage. Here's probably the most common one I got. Hi, I'm Navi, and I'll be your navigator. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one laughed at that one. Navi. Knock, knock. Link. Who's there? Not your parents. Link. If Jack was stuck up on top of a horse, would you help Jack off the horse? <laughs> I would. Wait. Next one is Mirror, Mirror on the Wall. Who's the fairiest of them all? Another heart container. Wowza. We're at 18 hearts. I can't believe... We have so many hearts right now. This takes us back into the main room. Oh no. Another sneaky boy trying to drop down on me. And then a pot. Everything's coming alive, man. And then why do the torches look like they could be french fry baskets? So next we have, so my friend Veronica asked me if I wanted to go out. And I'm like, nah, V. Get it? Because you can shorten Veronica's name into V. Okay, these are not, none of these are my jokes. <laughs> I just try to pick the best ones out of the comment section. <laughs> Um, what do you call a ship carrying a bunch of magical winged people? A fairy fairy. <laughs> These are terrible. 
they just, they tickle my fancy. Like my name's Ziggy Azalea. Oh yeah, I was floating around and all of a sudden a can of soda got thrown at me. But don't worry, it didn't hurt because it was a soft drink. <laughs> okay, here's our last joke. One windmill asked another windmill, what is your favorite genre of music? And the windmill said, I'm a metal fan. <laughs> oh, I also thought of one joke of my own that we could throw in there. What is a green chain made out of? Chain links. Okay, that was probably the worst one so far. I think the spirit temple is an alright temple. I don't think it's the best. I feel like it's really, really linear. And it, ooh, the boss key already. And on top of that, it has the uh, kind of feel of every single room has its own secluded puzzle. You figure out that puzzle, and then you move on to the next one. Whoa, I didn't realize that Din's fire stuns the Beemos. That's cool. Wait, can I kill the Beemos with my hammer? Mm, yes? No? Maybe so? Whoa, these mummy dudes are attacking me with some fireballs. Yum. I think there's an invisible chest right here. Or on this side. There was one. I was just a little bit too far to the right. The compass. The comp ass. Alright, let's backflip out of the way. Hit me. Hit me, brother. So I can hit you back. Oh, no. I said that. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Damn, that killed him fast. Okay, so we have one chest out here. And this is normally... I forget what this is. Oh, this is supposed to be the mirror shield. That's right. A purple rupee. Wait, there's another chest in here? There is. I almost forgot this. Another purple rupee. Dang. Just so you guys know, I am going to be doing another... Zooter playthrough. We'll do a Zooter 2. Probably gonna be named... Probably replace like the Z with a 2 and call it Tutor. <laughs> Maybe not. That actually sounds really dumb. But just the, the appeal of Zooter is that every single playthrough is completely different. Damn! That's a huge rupee! Nope. So yeah, I think that saving the carpenters... <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, we finally got it! I can't believe we finally found the Kokiri sword. It was inside a random chest inside the spirit temple. Who would have guessed? I mean, it doesn't even matter at this point because we've already done, I think, everything we can possibly do as Kid Link. But at least we know, at least we finally got it. Oh, I guess we're able to do the fishing minigame as a kid. That's what the Kokiri sword allows us to do at this point. So it unlocks one thing. Anyways, Twin Rova. Oh gosh. Okay, so we, this is actually my least favorite boss fight in the whole entire game. Okay, first off, I'm gonna go ahead and just switch to the Master Sword so we can more easily use our shield. Hurry up! Are you gonna attack me from above? Oh gosh. Hopefully this works. What? Are you kidding me? That was so rude. Of course she laughs like a bitch after that. Okay, hit her. Kotake, my laser beam, dang it. Oh, hit it. Why can't I? Don't fall off the platform! Thank you. Finally hit her. <laughs> oh. Hello. Please hit. Please. Why aren't you freaking? There we go. I don't know why I'm having so many issues with this. <gasps> Petition to be able to skip the twin Rova boss fight. I'd be all for that. So, so long. So time consuming. What? Gosh! Oh, don't fall! Mm. Hit her! Thank you! I've been doing this boss fight for like six minutes already, but at least we made it to the second half. The first half is the half that's really obnoxious. Double dynamite attack! Oh, look at those legs! Well, actually, I don't think her legs are thick. thick. I think she just thickened her legs by adding a bunch of extra cloth to them. Why do squats when you could just wear 10 layers of pants? Am I right? Anyways, let's blast her. Fish. Okay, at least the second half didn't take nearly as long. Alright, so what's this heart container gonna give us? Okay, a bundle of arrows. Hey, at least we have a good old, good old arrow refill now. And now... I believe we're going to get the water medallion, and then we can also get our last song, which is the Minuet of Forest. Okay, there we go. Okay, so... 
Oh, okay. So normally after you get the water medallion, you go to Kakariko Village and it activates the cutscene where it's burning down and that's where you learn the Nocturne of Shadow. But we already know the Nocturne of Shadow. So instead of entering the village from the front, which is what the game expects you to do, and that's how the cutscene normally works, we're going to enter from the back. Wait, what? It's not on fire. What, do we have to leave through the front and come back in to activate the cutscene? All right, let's leave the village and then we're gonna re-enter. And then quickest arsonist ever, yep. That was, in fact, the quickest act of arson anyone has ever witnessed in their lifetimes. Oh my, do I have the biggest fail story for you guys. <laughs> so this is the very last Poe we need to collect. Off screen, I did the other nine large Poe's. There he is, I saw him for a second. What the? Dude! Okay, bro. Where you at? Show up for me, please. Where is he? Oh, there he is. What the heck? Sir, please let me shoot you. He's supposed to appear in a place where I can shoot him. This dude is being a literal douche canoe right now. I hear him. Where's he at? Where did he appear that time? This is ridiculous. Get back here. Why are you flying so fast? Please, no. Get the fuck here. You. Dang it. I'm out of arrows. Okay, you son of a bitch. I'm ready for you. Come out. Shoot him. Shoot him. Okay, aim at the tree. Let's go. No. Am I shooting my horse? What the hell? Can you shoot your horse? I'm an actual asshole. Listen here, you bitch. No, I got... I actually hit him once. <laughs> I do not remember this Poe being so difficult. One eternity later. Come on, come on, come on. No. Can I just wait up here for him to reappear and shoot him when he comes up? There we go. This is what I'm talking about. Okay, we finally got the motherfucker. <laughs> we finally got him. Okay, and we don't even have to do this. The only reason I'm doing this side quest is because I get a lot of requests from people asking me to 100% the game, and so that is what I'm doing. So I have a story related to the big pose. First off, I now have all 10 big pose souls. I turned in the other seven, and we have three with us. But this side quest ended up being 10 times more annoying than it should have had been. So the very first time I did the side quest, I collected eight of the pose souls, and I took them all to the guy before I realized that I was doing it wrong. You have to kill them while on Epona's back. I was doing it without Epona. So I was just turning in eight, I turned in eight regular postals. So I had to restart. And then I restarted, I collected seven big postals. I needed some more arrows. So I went to Kakariko Village and went to the shop there. But for some reason on this ROM, if you enter the shop in Kakariko Village, it crashes your game. And so I didn't save and I lost all my progress. And had to do it all a third time. And here we are. <laughs> we have finally finished it. Here is your first one. You little cyclops dude. Okay, now to figure out if all of that pain. Like, I've probably spent more time getting this item than anything else in this randomizer. So let's see if it was worth it. Wait a minute. Wow! You have earned 1,000 points, young man. You are a genuine ghost hunter. All right, make it worth my while. <laughs> All right, so the next item we can collect is from doing the fishing mini game as a child, which we can finally do because we have the Kokiri sword. Dang, this fish is as big as I am. <laughs> Wow, this game is like straight up cucking me right now. This is insane, honestly. No, I'm done. All right, so the next thing we got to finish is the glorious mask side quest. All right, next mask we get is the spooky mask. So we can look like a fresh redead. All right, we have this creepy ass redead mask now. And we're going to sell it to this little kid in the graveyard because for some reason he wants to be dead. With this mask, I'll be just like Dompe. Here's my money. Okay. He looks terrible. He gave us extra money, though. He paid top dollar. This kid has some rich parents. I'm assuming. I, I'm assuming this kid didn't work for his own money. He's like four. All right. Next thing we get is the bunny hood, which is the best mask for Majora's mask. Stop running. Please. I have something for you, sir. 
There he goes. He's finally sitting down. Oh, what is he doing? He looks like he's just like fondling some invisible boobs. <laughs> Same. I think he gives you like 200 rupees for it, but we can't tell because we already have a full wallet. Wow. <laughs> that looks hilarious. All right, we got it. And now he gives us the mask of truth, which we are going to use this to get the last item we can possibly get as young link. All right, I got a ton of requests to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and provide <laughs> if you put a bomb next to a gossip stone. It turns into N NASA or something. <laughs> Bye! Have fun in space! That's probably the name of the biggest sci fi flick in Hyrule Gossip Stones in Everybody Space! To Coming to you soon now. in IMAX 3D. So I'm pretty sure we're already gonna get a rupee because I remember talking to a Gossip Stone towards the beginning of the Let's Play, one of the only Gossip Stones we talked to. And it told us that the Mask of Truth side quest would yield in currency or something along those lines. They seem very confused. Do we just straight up get the prize? Hmm? They're just so curious. I love how his mustache turns in a full 360 degrees. That's adorable. All my young Deku Scrub brothers say, you have a horrible face. Wow! <laughs> At me next time. But don't worry. We will reward you with many Deku nuts. You're ugly, so we're just gonna nut on you. Okay, another bloopy. Who would have seen that one coming? So we've collected every single item in this game, except for Nairu's love. That's the only item left. And then we have the quiver upgrades, the golden gauntlets, and the golden scale. And then there's also some heart pieces that we have to collect as well. And I'm assuming all of those items are inside Ganondorf's castle. Normally in vanilla Ocarina of Time, I'm pretty sure all you need to make this bridge appear is the Shadow and Spirit Medallion. So lots of speedrunners use that to their advantage while trying to beat the game fast. But with the Zooter Seed Randomizer, I'm pretty sure it's programmed to make sure you have all of the medallions. Alright, so we're inside Ganondorf's castle. I think the only thing we technically need to beat this is the boss key. So I'm pretty sure the boss door is locked. I think. I can't remember if I select that, uh, that option. Whenever I play through Ganondorf's castle, though, I always think of one of my favorite versus jokes that I ever told where Josh and I were trying to, where we were trying to figure out who is Ganondorf's contractor when building his newly refurbished temple for himself. And we determined that it was Ty Pennington from Extreme Home Makeover. <laughs> and he was like, move that bus! And then Ganondorf got to see the best castle of all time. Do we need the Lens of Truth in here? Almost positive. Yeah. Invisible chests, what you gonna do? Oh, there's the boss key. Wow. The very first chest we find in here. So now we can officially beat the game. Which, once we find the objects that I'm looking for, which is Nairu's love and a couple of other things, we'll go fight Ganondorf. Also, I wanna do a quick little, oh. Hello, Wolfos, welcome to the party. I want to do a quick little shout out. So I made a little bit of merchandise for myself. I have like an Amazon store and I have some shirts up on there. So if you guys want to support me in any way um, and to get a shirt at the same time, I have quite a few shirts over there. My new favorite is my hose before hose shirt. Since I call you guys hoes, I refer to my audience as hoes. Um, I put you guys before actual hoes because I care. I also have some phone poppers with a bloopy on it. So if you want a bloopy phone popper, then help yourself. You can get them on my Amazon merch store. <laughs> All right, was there any treasure chests in this room? There is, right off the bat. I'm, pr I'm pretty sure this is regularly a freezing chest. And there we go, there's the gold gauntlets. Pretty sure that these are the only two chests in the ice temple segment. Yay! <laughs> Brought to you by the Bloopy Foam Poppers. <laughs> Get yours today. Hopefully this room has just everything that we could ever possibly want. Another heart container. Okay, we're only two heart pieces away from having full hearts. Nice. Nice, man. A small key. Oh, I guess that is a locked door over there, isn't it? And we get another treasure chest from killing all the enemies. Can never have too many treasure chests, that's for sure. More bomb shoes. Nice, nice. We were almost out, so I could take the refill. Not that we need them, but it's just nice to have everything full. There's our quiver upgrade. Big quiver. Hello, ya big boy. And another key. There's the goopy! 
Oh my gosh, it was inside, or group, is it Goopy or Groupy? We'll call it a Groupy, because that's kind of funny. It was inside Ganondorf's castle the whole time. I was wondering where that little boy was. There is a couple in here, you can see one right as we enter. So of course there's one. Can we just hookshot over to it? Indeed. Nairu's love! Aw, we finally got it, so cute. All right. Here's the other chest. I forget what this normally has. Well, I think this is normally the gold gauntlets, if I remember correctly, which is kind of a weird place to put them. It wasn't the gold gauntlets, but it was the gold scale. Nice. The only thing the golden scale would normally allow you to unlock in Zooter is the ability to get the treasure chest inside the laboratory at Lake Hylia because you can like dive down deep but with our little glitch we were able to skip that okay so I think that is all of the treasure chests inside Ganondorf's castle but we're going to exit the castle real fast because there is one last great fairy that we can go to now that we have the golden gauntlets another piece of heart and there we go all 20 heart containers that is something I will tell you what that is something <laughs> Hey, just let me attack you already. <laughs> I hate fighting Stalfos. Alright. I can't believe it's finally come to this last treasure chest in the game. Here we go! There it is! The quiver upgrade! I totally called it. And I'm going to assume that we've also gotten this last upgrade from the slingshot. I probably just forgot to mark it, honestly. Or didn't even realize what slingshot upgrade I got. Because it doesn't show you on your menu. So yeah, with that, we have... 100% completed the Zooter playthrough, and I couldn't have asked for it to go any better. This really was a super interesting seed, though, because there was a couple points where we were just getting a lot of stuff, and I'm like, dang, this is easy. And then we would have episodes where I was just getting completely screwed over, over and over again, and we couldn't do anything. I'd say overall, this was a really interesting seed. Such a repetitive stained glass pattern. Tisk tisk, so lazy. Whoever did that. So are we going to do this the OG way? With a bottle? That's always the most fun way to fight Ganondorf is using the bottle. I'm going to do it. <laughs> just for the heck of it. Don't even need the Master Sword. Grade A bottle. Some nice tempered glass. Damn. He's actually lasting quite a while. Miss already, Ganondorf. Okay, I'm just going to use my sword. Is I going to switch it up? Come on! Finally! All right, light arrows, long shot to him, and let's big Goron sword. I could probably just jump to him, couldn't I? Instead of using the long shot. There we go. Now he's dead. No, not the stained glass windows. Somebody spent so much time making those. Oh yeah, I forgot. It totally skips the whole entire portion where you run down the castle as it's deteriorating. For anybody seeing this game for your very first time, you are missing out on some of the epicness that is this final boss fight. I understand why they cut it out though, because you don't get any items, it's kind of just filler for the final boss. He turns into giant pigman. Gainon. Why does it look like Link is still holding on to his sword? What? I've never seen Link stuck in this animation before. Okay, Zelda, you don't gotta gasp like that. Been fighting monsters for weeks now throughout Hyrule. I've taken a lot of hits. This isn't the first time I've had my kneecaps chopped off. I love this final boss fight though. It is so iconic. The fact that this Ganondorf boss fight was one of the first three-dimensional boss fights in video game history. Like they, they kind of did it all whenever they were making this game. They pulled out all the stops. This is also really easy right now since we have the big Goron sword. We don't need the Master Sword, we have the Big Gay Ron Sword. Can I just, why can't I just kill him now? What are we waiting for? Let me just, let me just attack him. Whatever. We'll use the Master Sword. Do we gotta use the Master Sword for the end? I think so. I think the only hits that do damage at the end and half are the Master Sword. I'm probably wrong. Oh, I just realized I should probably be a little bit careful, because we don't have any healing items. All right, Ganondorf, how much life you have left in you, buddy? Buster boy? He's just holding on to a prayer. 
There we go. Oh, look at his nose twitching like that. What you gonna do with that big fat nose? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Time to finish off Zooter like a man. Oh shit! Since this is the earlier version of the game, the blood is red instead of green. Six ages! Now! Link, let us help you. Forest! Water! Shadow! Spirit! Pussy! And light. No, I'm happy they left this cutscene in because I forgot how freaking awesome it is. They create like a black hole with their sage powers. You! Alright, and we have finally finished the game. Now Link and Navi fall in love and live happily ever after while Zelda watches like the cook she is. I'm so excited that this is the thing that ended up blowing up on my channel for the most part. Welcome everybody who's new to the channel. I'm glad so many people have enjoyed this series. This has been a blast for me from beginning to end. I am just so happy with this Let's Play. I think it was a really solid, fun playthrough of the game. And I just like how Zooter allows you to play through this game, a game that we've a majority of us have all played a lot of times. It feels like I'm playing the game for the first time again, which is awesome. Just, have, just seeing Saria riding Darunia's head like that is so cute. I love it. Oh, there's the... Oh my gosh, this whole entire thing came full circle. The area where the sages were looking at the sky just now? That's where we stopped and looked at the sky and took a second to, like, breathe during one of the episodes of this Let's Play. They were looking at the sky in the same exact place we were. That's awesome. Presented by Nintendo. <laughs> Daddy Nintendo. Thanks, Dad, for giving us such a great game that we've been able to play for 20 years. I think the 20 year anniversary for this game is coming up in the next month or two. The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Hey, where's our randomizer? Here, I'll add it. There we go. Perfect. The end. Well, thank you all so much for watching this Let's Play. Thank you for going through this experience with me. This Let's Play was so much fun. I had a blast from beginning to end. And I just can't wait for more Zooter in the future. There's many more bloopies to be had. Anyways, with that, my name is Attacking Toucans, and I'll see you guys in the next one.